Hello. Good evening or good morning, depending on where you are. We have a little middle of the night stream action going right now. We are now on to the letter M. M, 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 and we're starting with Mick Kids or MC Kids, depending who you ask. There is a period in between M and C, so I guess it is MC Kids, but that doesn't make sense because it's a McDonald's game, right? So you would say Mick Kids, right? I don't know. I don't know what to think, but I do like playing Mick Kids, so we're going to start out with that, and I'm excited. It's been a while since I've played it, and the music stopped. There it goes. I was like, why did it get so quiet? So there's a tent. Who do you think is in that tent? Not Ronald, surprisingly. Ronald was showing off his magic bag at a picnic in the meadow, when all of a sudden... Here he comes! Help, help! The Hamburglar has run off with my magic bag! Please help us get it back! Search the levels of my clubhouse and retrieve at least four of my puzzle cards. If you come back to my house with four cards, I will show you how to get to Birdie's house. If, okay, so if the Hamburglar really, like, took his magic bag and that's what he's, like, that's what he's concerned about, why is he also like, oh, and do this scavenger hunt and then talk to Birdie? I don't, I don't think he's that concerned that his magic bag was taken. But anyway, so I... I know some people hate this game. I kind of like it, meaning I like it a lot, actually. Um, and then a lot of people say it's a ripoff of Mario 3, and I don't really see that besides of the overworld map, because you go upside down and stuff, and the level design doesn't really remind me of Mario 3 at all. So I'm not totally sure why people say that, the more I think about it. But you're basically lifting blocks up. Um, and this is how you, you go over like that, and then you collect those cards. So basically you run really fast, and then you do that. And then we can jump around upside down. I think there's something, hold on. And then this sends you back to the beginning, but I think there's something over here that we need. Yeah, we need these. And then watch out for that beaver, he's bad. He will murder you. I like bouncing upside down. It's really, it's a little disorienting and awkward. But I think there's one more thing to bounce off of. Oh, nope, okay. So now we're back to normal. One of my earliest memories of video games, I was telling Mike this the other day, Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I was at my neighbor's house and he was playing this game. I was probably like three. And I don't think I played it, but I just remember it being on the TV. And for years I didn't know what it was. And then I saw the ABGN episode and I was like, oh, that looks so familiar. Shit, I did it again. It's because I'm too busy talking. Top 10 NES myths. My kids is like Mario 3. So many people would disagree with me though, because a lot of people think that it is like Mario 3. I'm having a hard time talking and playing a game right now. Alright, now we're a little closer to where we're supposed to be. And that's level one, right? Yeah. Oh, I missed that card up there. Is that a card? No, the cards have an M on it. What was that other game you were playing where you flip? The one where you're in a mech thing? Um, what's it called? Metal Storm. I think you're talking about Metal Storm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go to level 2. Even though we can go to level 3, I wanna go to level 2. I like these spiders. And then what's my favorite McDonald's memory? I remember I took a field trip to a McDonald's once. I was probably in like kindergarten and I remember uh, 
whatchamacallit, um, he's back! That fucker. And I remember we went into the, like, the giant freezer where they kept the fries, and it was a really weird smell. <laughs> and then I think Grimace was there. I feel like we met Grimace, unless I'm confusing that memory with a birthday party. Remember when they used to do birthday parties at McDonald's? And I feel like Grimace was there, but it could have been the birthday party. <laughs> um, but that was cool. Life used to be cooler. Favorite McDonald's commercial? I, wait, we missed a lot of this level, whatever. I promise I won't play this too long, but I'm gonna play it a little bit. But my favorite McDonald's commercial, I don't think I have one. I just like the ones where they use the puppets of like the little hamburger bushes and the fry guys, anything with that. And then there's, I know there's the one where like, the only one that comes to mind is like the little girls running away and then Ronald stops her from running away. But I, I don't really remember it. But I'm trying to think of specific McDonald's commercials. I know I should have a, there's like the old uh, Flintstone movie commercials. <laughs> Basically any that have the fry guys in it. Oh my goodness, we just got a raid from King of Apoc. Hello. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. We're playing NES games through alphabetically. We are now on letter M and we're playing McKids. So if that sounds fun, then please stick around. Do you believe in magic is the one that's the most famous? I always felt, yeah, that's a, that's a famous McDonald's commercial. That's true. I did play the Burger King games on the 360. I actually did a uh, video on those. Thank you, an anonymous user, for gifting a sub to King of Apoc. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Have I seen the trailer for the upcoming Rugrats game? I haven't seen the trailer, but I've seen pictures of it. At first, I thought it was a remaster of one of the um, games, but it's a brand new game, right? I should look up the trailer. Because the, the Rugrats games are not good, in my opinion. There's one I kind of like. Um, I forget which one it is, like what the name of it, but you're like walking around the house. I don't like the one where you're at a theme park. I hate that game. But the one where you're walking around the house is kind of fun. Oh, there's a card up there. How do I get there? I forget. Oh, this way maybe? Yay, there we go. It's been so long since I've played this. And I'll look at the chat in a second. Out of my peripheral vision, I see that we got a sub. Peripheral vision. But, it's okay, I'm already over here. <laughs> thank you so much, Breakpoint, for subscribing for 34 whole months, thank you. And thanks so much for being in the streams, I'm good. Was it the PS1 Rugrats you streamed that night? Yeah, I think it was just the... I think it was just called Rugrats on PlayStation. I think that's the one where you're in their house. Like Tommy Pickles' house. And I just, I just like it because you're walking around their house. Which I always wanted to do as a kid. <laughs> so I don't hate that game, but I don't think it's good. Um... But the one where you're in the theme park, I really hate that one. So, and the one coming out, it's for Game Boy Color, right? Shit! See, told you, I'm having a hard time talking and playing games right now. Um, Rugrats Golf. I don't remember that at all. Was that part of the theme park one? You're blowing my mind right now. Was there a Rugrats golf game? I played it. I have no recollection of it. <laughs> oh, is that in the PlayStation one? I don't know. See, I need to replay it. I just remember like walking around the house and then there was something where there was balloons all over one room or something. Um, I don't know. Oh, we have to get the card again. I forget, the cards don't save when you die. 
I mean, since I'm not going to beat this, I guess we don't need to get the cards, but... Oh, it wasn't a standalone golf game. Okay, I thought you meant a standalone golf game, and I'm like, how come I have no recollection of playing that? The Rugrats game will be coming out on PC and consoles. Will apparently be playable on NES hardware. Oh, okay, that's cool. For some reason, I thought it was Game Boy Color. Anyway, let's move on to level four. I need to review the, the Rugrats movie. I remember seeing that in theaters, and I didn't love it. Oh, I was supposed to walk on there, wasn't I? I didn't hate it, but I wasn't like, I didn't really like it. And I feel like everyone else liked it, but you know what was cool? Do you remember when Burger King, ah oh, shit, they had those watches for the movie, those were cool. I had a Chucky one. I miss that watch. I want that watch. <laughs> Come on, get up in there. Nope. Alright, maybe I don't do that. Whatever. Look at the little M in the sky. Right there. Interesting. There's M's everywhere, I didn't notice that. You had every watch. That's awesome. Damn it. Oh, and I totally forgot about going upside down. Let's go up here. Oh, this is how we do it. Oh, no? Okay. I don't remember then how you do that part. But, like, I feel like they had uh, a lot of Burger King, McDonald's, Rugrats tie-ins. Like, more than one. Like, am I making this up, or were there, like, reptar-shaped chicken nuggets at uh, Burger King at one point? Am I crazy, or was that a thing? Who's my favorite Rugrat? Chucky. Because he's really nervous, and he has asthma. Just like me. <laughs> so I always identified with <laughs> Chucky. Because he was always, like, dealing with Tommy's shit, and Tommy's just, like, oblivious with too much confidence. Like, I like the episode where Tommy sleeps over at Chucky's house, and Tommy's bitching the whole time, like, well, at my house, we eat this cereal. Well, at my house, my dad does this. And then, and then Chucky's kind of, like, he, like, snaps on him finally. I like that episode. I haven't seen that in, like, 20 years, probably, and it's just stuck with me. <laughs> because, like, Tommy's like, I like Reptar cereal, and then... Chucky had like whatever the bears were. Remember there was the other cartoon? It was like a bunch of bears. Like it was probably supposed to be gummy bears or something. I like that episode. Yeah, was it dummy bears? I don't remember. I need to rewatch some of the Rugrats. I liked that show. You're still waiting for a Chucky Finster Halloween costume? I could easily do that with my glasses and hair, huh? <laughs> or the other episode that kind of scarred me was the one- was it Angelica who swallowed the watermelon seeds and she thought, like, a watermelon was gonna grow inside her stomach? That was like, that was a good episode. I really like the Reptar on Ice episode where they get lost. And the Reptar's like, there's a kid on the ice. This shit like that just stuck with me. I don't know if like, I guess I just watched a lot of Rugrats growing up. I watched a lot of Nickelodeon. <laughs> a lot of Nickelodeon. Ah. I'm very sloppily playing this. I'm sorry. I'm just having a fun time talking talking about the Rugrats and Burger King and McDonald's and just random memories. I need a card. Why did I do that? I mean a block. 
Thank you so much, JT Yankee, for subscribing for 52 months. I'm just a dinosaur. Oh yeah, was that the slow song he sings? Damn it! Stupid beaver. Hey Arnold was your favorite? Hey Arnold was good. I really liked Rocco. Why is this happening to me? I'm upset. I guess I gotta go this way. Stupid parrot. Slowing me down. How do I get up here? Damn it! Not like that, Aaron! They had limited edition cassette tapes of Rugrats sing singing at Blockbuster. I don't remember that at all. Doug. Doug was good. I liked Doug. I liked Doug because it was kind of calming and like the transition music was calming. It had a calming vibe. It wasn't like loud. <laughs> Do you remember when Angelica somehow ended up eating spaghetti and having the Italian accor accordion player sing the Dummy Bears theme song? I don't remember that at all. Rocco worked a sex hotline. Oh yeah, isn't that episode like banned or whatever? What is today's cool shirt? It's a Vectrex shirt. It says the Vectrex. I got it at Portland uh, Retro Expo years ago. I should wear this shirt more. I like, I just forgot about it. And then I saw it randomly today in, a, in my closet. And I'm like, cause I've been cleaning. And so like I rediscovered it. I'm like, oh, I need to wear my Vectrek shirt. Banging on a trash can underneath the street light. Doug was great. The beats were great. Somebody said Doug was ruined when Disney took over, when it moved to Disney's one Saturday morning. Yeah, I feel like it wasn't as good. I still watched it though, but I just feel like it wasn't. By the time it was on one Saturday morning, I was more excited to watch like Recess. I have no idea what I'm doing on this level. I need to move on. I need to move on or right, well, else we're gonna be playing with kids forever. I just forgot what we were doing and I'm like, wait, Aaron, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't a McKid stream. That's okay, Hex. Have a good night. But yeah, Hey Arnold was good. Okay, next up we have Mule. So this game I've played before on a variety stream. I don't understand it at all. I have no idea what the hell you do. How many of these games have I completed? Are you talking about the alphabetical challenge? Well, I'm not like completing every game. We're just checking out each game alphabetically, but I have beaten a no like a good amount of NES games. I don't know the exact number. Is this Oregon Trail? No. All right. So I'm just showing you guys this because I have to because of the um <laughs> of the NES alphabetical challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge. I mean, it's kind of a challenge get, like getting through some of these games without pulling your hair out, but Okay, so there's like these little characters and you pick your species. I remember that. I want to be the guy with the long legs. I forget it talks at you. You're landing on the planet Irata. <laughs> How expensive would it be to start an NES collection today? I have no idea. I haven't been buying NES games. Like, I'm only- I slowed down on buying games. But if you want every single NES game, it's probably pretty expensive. Okay, so we put a house there. Press your button to select a pilot. 
I don't know what I'm doing. See, it's like I have no idea what this game's about. Elmo. I'm also beaten this game many times. You would like Mule. Elmo, Elmo is three years old. Yeah. I've beaten every oh NES God. game. First time I ever played it, I beat them all. Oh, really? I'm so good. You're really good. I'm so good. I beat them all. What's taking you so long to beat Mule? I bet everybody in your chat beat Mule too. Come on, you better beat it. I don't it. think I don't think anybody's beating Mule. Haven't you completed a, a Mule before? I have not. Isn't that shocking? It's shocking to me. How could you not? I'm only three years old and I beat Mule. Well, I guess you're better at Mule than me, and I'm gonna have to live with that. Yeah, everyone in your chat beat Mule too. I bet. Well, I'm gonna go to the pub and Mule. I'm not gonna go to the pub too. That's a good idea. All right, have a good night. I'm not gonna get drunk on whiskey. Okay, have fun. Bye. I'm gonna need some whiskey after this stream. Fire in store. Oh my God, the store is on fire. Well, how do I fix it? All the stock in the store is lost. <gasps> See, I have no idea what goes on in this. No idea. Hey, Master Disaster. It's been better lately. All those potato chips ruined. Was it a potato chip store? I'm like not even totally paying attention to this because I don't get it. What are they doing now? Is that a butt with legs? It kind of looks like it. So anyway, that's Mule on NES. Next up we have Muscle on NES. This is that like game that's based on those little tiny um those little tiny, I always thought they were erasers as a kid, those little tiny figurines. Hello, Alex. So, I remember this game sucking. Oh, it's fucked up. Which one am I? I'm... I think I'm, I'm the blue guy. And this ROM is screwed up, but does anybody really care? Oh yeah, and you can throw yourself off of the... The side... The little... What do you call it? The bands on the side of the thing. I can't get up! The ropes, yes, thank you. <sighs> it's one of those nights, mornings, whatever. <laughs> there we go! So all I can do is like, ground pound. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! I don't know. Anyway, so that's Muscle on NES. I don't like that game. And next is Mock Rider. It is Eric. Sorry you had a bad day, Chiluminati. I hope it gets better. Aaron is streaming at 3 a.m. Eastern. Dot, dot, dot. I am. Ooh, we just got another raid. Thank you so much, Photon Earth, for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. We're currently playing through... NES games alphabetically, and we are on the letter M, and it's time for Mock Rider! <laughs> Hello, E Tank. Alright, I'm gonna do. Let's do. Fighting Course, I guess? Let's try the Fighting Course. You are Mock Rider. That's me! Hold on, I'll look at the chat in a second. I'm too busy playing Mock Rider. <laughs> I've played this before, this looks kind of familiar. Oh god, oh god. It goes so fast. It's kind of disorienting. It's making me dizzy. Oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh, and we exploded! Get out of there! Come on! <laughs> You're playing NES games that start with M and I just got Monster Maker for the Famicom from the mailman. Does that mean something? That's cool. You're also playing letter M NES games. I'm only doing uh, North American games for this because or else it's gonna take forever if I did Famicom games too. But yeah. And thank you so much Alex Froth for subscribing for 22 months, thank you. All right, let's see if we do any better with this stage. No, we didn't do any better. What did I run into? Oh, it was it an oil drum? No, it was a rock. You gotta watch out for those rocks and oil drums on the road. Oh my god. I can't play this game. Am I writing down the games I like so far? I am. All right, so that's Mock Rider. <laughs> and next up we have Mad Max. I forget what this game is like. I remember it not being good. Oh no. Mock Rider will not be making the list. Yeah, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Let's begin Road War One. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm trying to blow up that car. Oh, he blew up himself or he got hit. Oh, my God. Watch out. <laughs> this is so bad. I don't even know what to say. And then Mad Stalker asked what my favorite games were so far. Um, I did find some new ones. I'll have to get out my list. Come on, turn around. I need to blow up these tires. Why is it? Did I run out of? Oh, I ran out of throwy things. So now I'm now I just gotta run around. Well, this is Mad Max on NES. What do you think? <laughs> this is really funny to me. I don't know what I expected. I ran out of fuel. Darn. But let's see. Games that I've liked so far. There's something in my eye. Um, oh, uh, Codename Viper. I liked that. Darkwing Duck. I've played Darkwing Duck before, but it's been years. Like, it's been a very long time. And then replaying it, I was like... That could be a fun stream. Um, and then I wrote down Defenders of Dinatron because that was the goofiest NES game I've ever played in my life. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up because it is very silly. Um, elevator action I liked. Um, let's see. I kind of liked Ghoul School. I know it's a bad game, but the last time I played it, I kind of liked it. Um, just, I like the vibe of it. I don't think it's good by any means, but I kind of liked it because I'm a crazy person. Um, Gun Knack I liked. Uh, what else? Low G Man. That was a good, that was a good time. Um, I 
I thought there was something else. I guess not. I thought there was one other thing. It was like, like, oh, Legacy of the Wizard. Legacy of the Wizard. That game was cool. Coding Viper is a great Rolling Thunder clone. Yeah, it's very Rolling Thunder, but I, I enjoyed it. What am I doing up at this ungodly hour? I have wacky schedules, so I'm up at all time, all different kind times of day. I can't even speak. You're going to change your tune on low G man. Once you get to the first boss, I played it on my own the other day and you're right. I, that first boss drove me insane. You were very right. JT Yankees for subscribing at tier two. Thank you so much for 52 whole months. Damn. Thank you for sticking with me so long. And thank you for subscribing at tier two. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's interesting. Mad stalker. I didn't know that. I like how they ask you about why are you up at this hour when they're also <laughs> awake. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good point. But you know what? They're probably, wait, what did I do? They're probably in a different part of the um, world where it's a more reasonable time to be awake. <laughs> Aussies are up right now. See? Spiteful Frog says, see, Austra see Australian friends are up. Okay, so Moffat Conspiracy, Golgo 13, oh no. So we played the other Golgo 13 game and I had no idea what was going on. Oh, look at this picturesque scene. Oh, and then it gets blown up. Well, that, that was shocking. March 1990, as part of America's strategic defense initiative SDI, an experimental satellite, SK-2, was recently launched into Earth's orbit. For some unknown reason, the experimental satellite has apparently fallen out of orbit and crashed into the Alps. Now, threatening letters have simultaneously been received in Washington and the Kremlin, the author of these letters, has signed in the name of the Moffat Revolutionary Group. Okay, I don't, this is a lot. And it just, it just keeps going. I want to get to the gameplay though. And it's just silent. Isn't this great? Story bad guys did shit. I mean, basically. Oh my God. Doesn't this get you excited to play the game? Music costs too much money. What's my favorite NES game plot? See, that's a hard question for me because I don't really care too much about story and plot. I like more of the gameplay. There has to be something that sticks out to me. Because mostly with the NES stuff, it's like... Oh my god! That was terrifying! Did anybody else see that? That was kind of disturbing. I didn't like that. Princess Tomato, she likes the plot. Oh, there we go. I do like the plot of Princess Tomato. I think it's adorable that you have to save, like, your vegetable friends, your vegetable kingdom. And I like the plot to, um... What was I gonna say? To Kickle Cubicle, it's kind of the same. You're saving vegetable friends. <laughs> yes, this is the sequel to Golgo 13. And I have no idea what's going on. It was disturbing for Aaron because a skeleton died. They blew the top of his head off. It was crazy. Top 10 disturbing NES moments. That would be on it. I don't know. There was just something weird about it. It creeped me out. Oh my god. Can we play the game yet? That's crazy, you think. <laughs> hmm. 
Mike likes the plot to Galaga. Okay, that's a very Mike answer. Okay, I'm really trying to get to the gameplay, you guys. I'm trying. So there's two intros. There's the one that's just text with no music, and now there's this one that has music. Ninja Gaiden was real fun because of the cutscenes. Ninja Gaiden did cutscenes right. This game is nuts. Everyone's saying this game's crazy. <sighs> I mean, the pixel art looks nice. I'll give it that. It's very, it's, it looks very like 80s businessman vibes. I'm trying to skip it. Did I get any new Squishmallows? Oh my god, actually I did, and I have it right next to me. So it's a Squishmallow uh, keychain that I'm gonna put on my purse. And it's a little bat! I finally got a bat Squishmallow. This totally counts. And she has little horns because she's a little devil. And look at this. So her name is Carly, and it comes with a little description. It says... Got a glitch? Call Carly. There's no computer error this techie mallow can't fix and nothing makes her happier than helping her friends. Carly grew up playing games on her big brother's desktop computer and now she's developing games of her own. Want to play one of Carly's computer games? I do. I would love to see this little bat program a computer game. Wouldn't that be amazing? I don't know. I just thought she was so cute. I got her at CVS. And they also had a purple bat and I was so torn. But... That one just spoke to me. I don't know. So I finally have a bat squishmallow. Wow! Look guys, there's game. There's a game. I forgot we were playing games. I thought we were looking at slideshows. Thank you Telly82 for subscribing for 27 whole months. Thank you so much. I will kick you right in the face with my long legs. Come on. Oh, we got shot. We're dead. Ugh. Where does it start you? What if it made you watch the, like, introduction again? Wouldn't that be bad? And I like how he walks with his hands in his pockets. In between just kicking people. I feel like I need to play this at least for a second after waiting so long to get through this the start. Oh shit. How do I, how am I supposed to do this? There, I guess like that. We took a lot of hits there. All these people at the cafe are just like, oh, nothing's happening. There's not some crazy street fight happening. No, we're dead. All right, so that's Golgo 13. Oh yeah, CBS always has a lot of Snoopy stuff during Christmas, you're right. Ben says, I love the plot, but yeah, unless you're already invested, you just want to get right in. Yeah, and it's like, because I'm just like, you know, getting a taste of all these games. I'm not like getting invested into all of them. So especially for a stream like this, it's like not realistic for me to sit and read the whole plot for like 20 minutes, but... You're not gonna get to Z by Halloween, that's perfectly fine. Probably not, because there's a lot of M, and when we get to S and T, I think that's gonna be out of control. And also, I want to start playing probably Castlevania Adventure in between these, because I miss getting into a game and really playing it, you know? Because we've been doing this variety kind of streaming for so long. 
So it's going to take a while, but I just mentally, I need to play and get into a game, you know? It's been three months so far and you're just now getting to the halfway point. I know. This was a big undertaking for me. <laughs> it's not a bad game if you play it longer. I mean, the controls were bad. I believe you. Hi, Telly. I'm good. How are you? You just added Adventure Reaper to your PC. That's cool. Yeah, I've never played it and I want to. And I'm like, it's, you know, and then it's getting close to October. So it's good for Castlevania time. Okay, so now we're playing Magic Darts. I don't know what any of that means. Let's choose the first option. Six minutes in the microwave and this mi mac and cheese is still cold in some parts. <laughs> Isn't that the worst? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you dressing up as Rainbow Bright? I have dressed up as Rainbow Bright before. I did that in college, but I haven't done it in years. I don't have a Rainbow Bright costume anymore. Magic Darts was released in the US. The Famicom version is hard to find. Oh, it's rare? I didn't know that. Mr. Gimmick Pro. Oh my god, Mr. Gimmick. I forgot that's coming up. So I like Magic Darts because look at- it just gets weirder and weirder, your characters. Look, you can be a robot and his name is Rom. Or you can be Liz. You can be a monkey, you can be an alien, or you can be Tom. I think I want to be, I'm going to be the alien, and my name is, ah, sure, middle, game start, let's go. I know the Mega Man games are coming, I'm nervous because I'm not great at Mega Man. The only Mega Man game I've beaten is Mega Man 2, and that took a lot of practice. Okay, so I think this is the like the direction so I'm gonna try to get it in the middle uh, or wait is oh and that's the height and that's the strength <gasps> dude that wasn't bad I thought that was gonna be worse this aliens pretty good at throwing darts See, I spoke too soon. Oh! Okay, that was not good. I don't know why it flew around like that, like crazy. Ugh, it's so fast. Oh. <laughs> then he changes the... Okay, let's try this again. Can we get another close to the bullseye? Come on. Ah, uh, could, could be worse. Could be worse. Okay, see? That, that was worse. Oh, it's making me speed up. Is it? Oh. Aw. Uh, I guess that's the magic in magic darts. This is great. <laughs> I don't hate this. And you know how when we were playing pool, I was like, what's the pool game where you can be an alien? I think I was thinking of this. I think I was getting it confused with a pool game. Shit, that was not good. You know what game has better darts? Shenmue. Oh really? You'll love Shenmue. It's all about wasting time and collecting castle toys. We brought up Shenmue earlier because someone was asking about Dreamcast games. And I mentioned the capsule toys, the Gashapon machine. Oh, it went off the board? Oh, really, Bad Stalker? Oh, it could be worse. 
Am I good at playing darts IRL? Probably not. I don't think I've ever played real darts. I have, but I don't remember how it was actually. Oh, we got right in the middle. I might have made it up too high though. Oh. Aww. Again, not good. I'm just pressing whatever now because <laughs> I knew that was over. All right, so that's magic darts. It's kind of like, I don't know, I don't hate it. It's kind of fun. Use less power if you aim too high. That's what I was trying to do and then I accidentally pressed too much power and I just gave up. I'm a giver upper. Elmo plays darts over Erin when she sleeps. Target is behind her pillow. I didn't know that's what that was. Well, that's terrifying to think about. Erin, video idea. Trying to get a perfect in Kirby Superstar mini games. That would be really good for you, I think. That's not a bad idea. I'm gonna, I'll write it down. I'll jot it down. Always, I'm always welcome to, um... Here, I'm going to copy and paste it. Uh, vi a video suggestion. So always feel free to let me know anybody. Especially if it comes to Let's Plays, like games you think would be good for easy Let's Plays, because I would like to get videos out faster. And yeah, I always appreciate that. Because sometimes you guys have pretty good ideas. And I appreciate it. Yeah, I kind of remember the mini games. It's been a really long time since I played Kirby Superstar. Okay, so next up we have Magic Johnson's Fast Break. Look at that color scheme. That pink is so early 90s pink. Okay, one player game. I'm horrible at sports games. He was on the Su Mario- Magic Johnson was on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, was he? Alright. Good luck, kid. We'll all need it. Pepsi! Product placement. You run around so fast. Did I make it in? No! No! They're just gonna keep making baskets! No! No! You fucker. No, I'm gonna make a basket. No, I didn't make a basket. <laughs> no, I didn't want to make it from all the way back there. But what if I did though? That'd be pretty cool. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. <sighs> they keep taking it away from me. No. No. All right, whatever. That's Magic Johnson's fast break. Next up, we have Magic of the Scheherazade. Mike says he's an expert at the sports genre. That's right. When I think of sports, I think of Mike. 
I did play basketball when I was younger because I was tall for my age as a kid and so I got like talked into it and it was a horrible idea. Uh, oh, this is gonna be like a RPG, huh? I'll say fast, so it goes by fast. Like the speech bubbles, I'm guessing what the, that's what that's for. One day, peaceful Arabia was attacked by the demons. The evil magician Sabaron summoned them from the dark world for his evil desire. One brave magician attempted to fight him, but he failed. And his sweetheart was taken and all his memories erased. He was even thrown into a different time period. Well, that's brutal. Do you remember this? The young musician is you. <gasps> We're the young magician. Only you can save Arabia. Please fight Sabaron again. I'm Coronia, the time spirit. I was searching for you. Only you can beat Sabaron. Help us. I guess I'll help you. I will be a magician since they said I was a magician. Maybe it'll come back to me. Uh-oh. Did I break a nail? Oh, playing basketball? No, I was like in fifth grade. <laughs> I just didn't know what I was doing. See, that's what happens. When you're a girl and you're tall, you get- they go like, you're, you'd be great at basketball. And it's like, just because I was tall doesn't mean- <laughs> doesn't mean that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you're the great magician Isfa's descendant. Welcome back. You will depart to defeat Sabaron, won't you? I guess. Sabaron took away the great Arabian king Fiesel and his four princesses. Your sweetheart princess Shahrazad too. Find Sabaron and defeat him. You're the only hope. Okay. So we gotta go talk to people. You are having a hard time, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Your sweetheart princess Shahrazad was taken away by Sabaron. Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. All right, well, they're not helpful at all. Oh, look, a fountain. He looks like he would have something to say, but he doesn't want to talk to me. How tall are we talking? Well, I'm only 5'6 now, but growing up, I was, I, I was tall for my age. I was always the tallest kid in the class. Big Bird is 10 feet tall. I was thank God I'm not that tall. That would be a problem. Oh my God. How do I fight? I don't know how to fight. Maybe we're, maybe we should go get a weapon or something. This is the game where nobody can read the title properly if you just see the box cart because it's written in such a weird way. Oh, is it in a weird, weird font? Have I seen the Big Bird 80s movie? I did when I was a kid, but I don't remember much of it. All right, so let's try to find... Okay, can we go in here? Or is this H for a hotel? I need a weapon. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. We can jump. Can I get out of here? Can I walk away this way? Okay, we walked away. See, I'm just trying to find like a sword or something. But I'll probably turn it off before we find a sword. Jump everywhere? Oh, do you like find stuff? Well, we're 
gonna die. Oh god, is that beeping gonna continue? Can I just go into the water? <laughs> it's just like splash and it's over. All right, whatever. So that was that. Next up is Magician. Just called Magician. I'm a little, oh, that's scary. Look at that license by Nintendo from Texan. Looks like a DOS title screen. It does. This is the land of Merlewood. Your quest will be hard and hazardous, filled with magic and epic battles. Good luck. You begin your quest. You feel better. The flask holds four more drinks. Three more drinks. Oh, I'm drinking. Uh, you hear voices coming from inside the guild house. Your hand is empty. Oh, okay. You hear voices- okay, uh, good day sir, how can I help you? The keeper has gone off to serve another guildsman. The- okay, how to- okay, um... You drink a refreshing cup of goat's milk. Ew. Pigs are down with the fever again. <laughs> I don't like how it changes the, um, the, the speech bubble. It, like, it's kind of disorienting. The keeper, pleased that you appreciated the milk, tells you of a rumor about a magical house without windows or doors somewhere in the wilderness. The keeper has gone off to serve another- okay, so we already did that. Okay, so I'll leave. Can I talk to anybody? Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm bad with games like this. I don't like the way the text appears. It's okay. Yield shop. Good day, sir. How can I help you? I'd like some wall meat. This ham will cost you 30 gold. You have 1,495 gold. Let's buy the ham. A wise choice, sir. What's that? This chicken? The crust of bread. Sure, let's buy some bread. What's over here? Vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. Let's buy some vegetables. Wonderful. Okay. Now we got some food. The old mail. You don't have any letters to post. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you do start the game with a lot of money. Can I go in there? There's nobody to talk to. Nobody will talk to me though. The wise man bids you welcome. You look like an honest lad. Would you mail this letter to my twin brother for me? Yes. Thank you, my son. Be careful. Okay. Well, now we can go back here and mail the letter. Do, do, do. This is only going to take forever. Go back to that fair maiden. You guys like the fair maiden. You feel more experienced. The girl takes the letter and smiles. You don't have any- nope, I'm out. Okay. So we, we mailed the letter. Alright, well that's that. That's Magician on NES. 
Now we have Magmax. Not totally sure what this is. Ooh. The hell? Oh, I thought I cleared that. Pew, pew, pew. I go quick between games. Well, my rules are I can play it for 10 seconds. I can play it for 10 minutes. It, it depends on what I feel like. So there's really no rules. Because if I was to play each game for like 10 minutes or more, this would take forever. So we're just getting a taste of the games. And then I write down ones that I want to come back to. Are these boats? They look like little sailboats. This is interesting. Now where are we going? Oh, now we're over here. Like, it's not great, but it's a little interesting. It's an arcade port? Okay, figures. You collect parts and turn into a walking robot. Oh, really? That's interesting. You get to collect eight legs for your ship. That's cool. <laughs> I'll try to find the leg. I don't know how you find the stuff. So I guess you find the parts above ground. Everyone's like, get legs, get legs. I don't know how. They're just around on the ground? Okay. Is that something? Oh, we got- we got something. We got a head. Ooh, we got a gun. Or something. Oh, we lost it because I was clumsy. No! This is kind of cute. I like the idea of getting pieces for your robot. Like, that's kind of cool. So, the goal is to get, like, legs and stuff. And then when you come down here, you're more powered up, I guess. But we're down here with nothing. Because I got hit too many times. Oh. Oh, we got legs! We got legs! Oh, you're like a walking robot! Oh no, our legs got blown up! No! This is crazy! And he flies. Oh my god, we just have legs. Now we have nothing. <laughs> this is really crazy. Ah, shit. This is funny. go faster. I'm sure you can. I think when we had legs and we were like a t whole tall robot, I think we were going faster. Nichibutsu made some really bizarre games. Yeah, this is crazy. Let's try it one more time. One more time and then I'll move on. And hello, Big Border. 
Shit. I can't. This is where I get hit with these little guys. Oh my god. These cars have giant screws on top of them. I want to find more parts for my robot, but I'm going to die. Yay! Now let's get some legs. Come on, let's find some legs. that down because that was that was interesting M mag max uh, I was writing a quick description of what it is Sports is next. Aaron, you, I had the game growing up. You saw literally all there is to see, really. But I want to be able to get the legs and go crazy as a full robot. <laughs> okay, next up is Major League Baseball. Everyone's favorite. Hello, Balaki. I'm good. How are you? LJN Baseball. Let's go. Let's be California versus New York. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I just start playing? Select a fifth batter. I don't know how to use this menu. I don't understand. <laughs> Why won't it let me select anything? Can I just start? Fuck this. Alright, it's baseball. You know what it is. I'm too stupid for the screen. Anyway, Maniac Mansion. So this is a game everyone always talks about. A lot of people want me to play it. I am not big on point and click games. But, um... I will try this. I don't know. I've never played this before. I've, I've tried it out a little bit, but I've never actually played it. 
Ooh. So now we pick characters. I'll be her. Oh. Who else should we be? This guy with the shades. Oh, look at this guy with the weird glasses. I'm just clicking around. Okay, this looks... I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. Okay, let's go rescue Sandy. Uh, go to here, I guess. And then you go, oh, I think I saw somebody, there's something on this rug, right? Pull? Do you pull the rug? Uh... Push? How do I like- oh I guess wait. How do you like- okay. Open. Let's open this mailbox. I don't get it. Open. Aren't I at the mailbox? Okay, it opened. I guess there's nothing in it. Go to mailbox. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's pull can we pull in this bush can we pull up this bush too I'm just gonna wreck this guy's landscaping no oh there's a key um use right then we touch the key use key in here yay okay go in there Uh, let's open the door. Oh, isn't this the hamster thing? Like, everyone does that, right? Where you, like, put the hamster in the thing? I don't want to do that. <sighs> That's so mean. Thank you, John32, for subscribing for 21 months. Thank you. Alright, let's go this way. Is that blood splattered on the wall by the chainsaw? This is brutal. Oh, God. I got you. You'll be safe here until the police come, dearie. That's scary. Game over? Is that game over? Uh... Oh, new kid. So then we try another person, right? Okay, we'll be her. And now we have to get into the house again, right? Should we go upstairs or do you guys want me to do the... Or do you want me to go to the kitchen? Where do you guys want me to go? I'll let the chat decide my fate. We have one upstairs, one kitchen. I'm afraid that guy's still gonna be in the kitchen. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Oh, 
Oh, is this the dungeon? Let's try to open it. Oh, it opens. Let's go in. <laughs> Can we open this door? Oh, it's dark in here. Oh my god, ex examination table. Oh, I need a flashlight. Let's leave. Can I get out of here? Because I can't see. Oh, there's a light I can turn on? Can I take this? Get? No. That's funny, Mad Stalker. <laughs> Wait, I can see with the cursor? Oh, you mean just like, I see. Door. Desk lamp. Uh. Use. Oh, turn on. Yay! Uh. Let's open this desk. Go to manuscripts. Can I put- oh, can I push this, like, and have it roll? I don't know what I'm doing. Can I tap the skeleton? Ooh, that's scary. Ooh, let's open this. A special key. Okay, well, let's get out of here, then. What's in here? Erin has to put on a black tube dress if she ever does a Maniac Mansion stream now. That's a good idea! I could dress up like her. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, look at this! Disco crazy, tuna diver, meteor mess, alien slime, or video fever. Let's go to the video fever game. Uh... Turn on. Is it not on? What about use? Use slime game with... I don't know. Oh, I need a quarter. I see. Well, let's leave then. We gotta find a quarter. We're going up more stairs. You want a real arcade game called Tuna Diver? <laughs> oh, is that an alien? What if I walk past him? Feed me and you can pass. I don't have any food. Hello, my dear. Hope you're having fun. With minutes, it'll all be over. Oh my god. You'll be hooked up to my machine. Getting your pretty brains removed. Oh my god, that's scary. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. I mean, we're doing a pretty horrible job. You and your meteor can eat slime. That's what she thinks. Okay, I'll do... I'll do a Maniac Mansion stream for Halloween, maybe. Or a video on it. I don't know, it could be fun. Maybe for a stream. Uh, 
I don't want to do the whole thing right now, but it's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's kind of fun. I'm kind of into it. All right, next up we have Mappy Land. I have not played this game in a long time. New game. I just remember the trampolines. How do I get up there? Oh, you jump with B, okay. Oh, well, that was fun. We got the cheese. Oh. No! So I think you have to collect every item, right, before you can continue on. jump on certain things like right oh did we make it we made it yay yeah this is very cute can we use this cannon wait I want to use the cannon oh you can ah I thought you could use it like turn it around game over well, I suck at Mappy Land, apparently. Let's try it again. positive music yes <laughs> look at that mouse run all right let's try this level again shit no I didn't see him I was trying to get that cheese he was gonna jump on the trampoline so he was safe oh do we miss anything or can we go I think we can go Oh, I can't. I'm missing something. Oh, this cheese. Now we can go. Oh, I was like, can we go in the bar? <laughs> anyway, so that's Maffy Land. Next up, Marble Madness. Oh my god, this game. This game is hard. I was playing this not too long ago, like the actual um, arcade game with the little rolly ball. This game is tough. I think it is. Yeah, Mike beat this. I don't know. I, I like cannot control this little ball. I'm having an easier time playing it with the D-pad than a roller ball, track ball. Yay, we did it! <laughs> I did the first one. Isometric Marble Madness. I don't know how good your game is. If it's not isometric, it's not for me. <laughs> Everyone loves isometric games. Oh god. Well, where am I? 
Oh okay. god, okay, not those cone things. We did it. Barely, but we did it. All right, now let's see. Now let's see where we can go. Where are we? Oh, we're up there. I was like, <laughs> it's like, where are we? Oh, come on. Oh my God. This one's disorienting. No. The music here is crazy. Out of time. No. All right. So that was Marble Madness. It did better than I thought it would. And now it's time for regular old Mario Brothers. Yeah, uh, it's timed. Ow. My leg went to sleep as usual. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played this. What kind of pants are these? These are purple sweatpants. <laughs> this game is so much quieter than the other games. Ah! Let's get that turtle! You hate this game. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to use the POW block. Oh well. We're not going to play this too long. Do. Ah. Ah. Oh. Hey, we got him. Like the jumping is kind of awkward cuz you're used to Mario like regular Mario jumping. I mean, I guess this is technically regular Mario, but Get up there! It's like you have to be facing the right direction to jump. It's like a little weird, you know? Yes, I mean Super Mario. I'm used to Super Mario way of jumping. Oh yeah, and then these crabs get really mad. I think you have to hit them twice. No! These crabs are crazy crabs. There. This one's hard. <laughs> All 
crabs are crazy crabs. Crazy crabs. No! Anyway, so that's Mario Brothers. Next up we have Mario is missing. Ugh. Not Mario is missing. The software tool works. Oh, that's messed up. Hold on. I might have to clean this again. I do, do, do. Let's see if this looks any better. Can't tell yet by this awesome title screen. He's still messed up. Hold on, I'm gonna take a really quick break and I'm gonna clean it and we'll be back. Be right back. All right, I am back. Thanks for waiting on me. I use this cartridge cleaner thing and um, to clean the contacts on the actual NES itself and that worked. So it took me a minute to get this out. I am alive, I'm here. All right, anyway, now it's time for everyone's favorite, Mario is missing. I've streamed this before. Hello Marcos, thanks for stopping by the stream. I'm good. I use this 1UP card NES console cleaner with um, rubbing alcohol. I mean not rubbing alcohol, the, the cleaner that it came with. But I usually use a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol, yes. You need a video with all the retro emulators. <laughs> There's a lot. Oh, I was thinking of Mario's time machine. That's what I was thinking of. Wait, what do I do in this game? I forget. Oh, okay, we do go down a pipe. <laughs> Look at the guy in the middle. Oh my god, I forgot how goofy looking this game is. Can I talk to him? No. Oh, I really don't want to be playing this. This is the point where you realize this game's gonna suck, right? Oh, look at him go. So that's the problem with these, um, with this NES, every NES game challenge. I gotta play stuff that I really don't feel like playing. And I can't bitch about it. I just gotta do it. But I am bitching about it, I'm sorry. You have to talk to the other people walking by while jumping on the Koopas. Oh, okay. Let's see if we find some people. Hello, Henry Bear, good boy. Good morning. How do I talk to you? I don't know how to talk to you. Please acknowledge me. I can't go in this door. Can I go in this door? M was a good letter for NES games. There's some good stuff, but there's also a lot of bad stuff. Yeah, I'm pr I'll press up to the people. I'm pressing every button. Oh, do I press down to get in here? God damn it. Somebody talk to me. And I can't go into any of these doors. <laughs> Whatever. Select, oh, do I have to be on a different thing? 
What if we select Yoshi? What the hell? Now what's happening? Okay, I have no idea what to do in this. I'm just gonna be real. That's Mario is missing. And now it's Mario's time machine, which I got confused with Mario is missing. Imagine getting this game for Christmas. That would suck so bad. <sighs> this also sucks. <laughs> time machine was great on Super Nintendo for a rental. I like Bowser's museum. I like the portraits they have on the walls in here. It's kind of funny. Bowser and his Koopas have built the greatest museum in history, but to do it, they have stolen many important items from the past. And we have to get them back. Ah! Oh no, Yoshi. Oh shit, I accidentally, anyway, so that's Yoshi's <laughs> portrait. And there's, Donkey Kong. I don't remember what you do here. Shit, not that. Do I just get in here? Why can't I remember how to play these? Shit. All right, we'll go into a different one. What about this one? some Mario hacks before. On stream I've played some, but it's been a long time. Damn it, I keep getting out of the door. Shit. I don't remember what you do. messing with my brain because I, I remember like do you have to put the shells in there because I thought you just go down in here and then little different images appear on the time machine what about like this one it's gonna be the same shit though I don't know guys, I might turn this off. I've played it before, so you can look it up if you really wanna see me play Mario's Time Machine, but I don't think anybody <laughs> cares. Anyway, next up is Mechanized Attack. Mechanized Attack, oh no, not one of these. Advance to the next stage, good luck, we'll all need it. <laughs> this stream is a disaster. Okay, come on. Oh, you're just like... You're just shooting everything in sight. I've never seen this game before. It's fine. Oh, I want a grenade. Can I throw a grenade over here?
shoot things with our gun. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> oh no. This is not going well. Oh wait, I do have grenades. Oh, and we're dead. No! Alright, that was kind of fun. Alright, next up we have Mega Man. I'm not good at Mega Man. I'm just being real. I've beaten Mega Man 2, but um, Mega Man is just not, I don't know, it, it requires a lot of practice for me, so get ready for me to suck. Anyway, so uh, I wrote down who you start with, so Bomb Man. Mega Man time. One has no E tanks. <laughs> That's true. I remember this part where you wait over here. Oh. Ah because it's like a safe spot. Oh, and there's health up there. This game is crusty, but still rocks. Yeah, I guess compared to the other ones. I hate when games knock you off screen. I hate that. And of course this respawns. Let's get some health back. I've ever played Mega Man Legends. I have not. There's an improvement hack of this. What does it improve? Just like, just improves everything in general? Shit. Shit! No! There's like certain things I remember about this, uh, shit. Oh no! No! Oh, we're gonna die. We are going to die. I remember this part where you have to keep moving really fast. So you don't get hit by that thing, by that bullet bill. Shit! No! Hmm. One is bad, six is where it's at. Robo dog jetpack, yes. <laughs> oh, can I just jump from over here? I, I shouldn't try that, but I wanna try it. Oh, you can, I didn't know that. I thought you had to go over the things. All right. No, you fucker. Ah, oh, this asshole. What if I just run past him? <laughs> Oh, and thus you're supposed to be able to hang to the wall, right? 
Oh, and now it's- and we're gonna die here. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that buzz. Let's try this again. Shit, no! I was so close. I was too sloppy. Alright, let's try it again. It's easier to dodge the bombs running away than under. Ugh. Yay! I did it! Sloppy, but I did it! Yay! So I think because there's so many Mega Mans, I'm just- my goal is to beat one Robot Master per game so we can get through it. But there you go, Mega Man 1. Could have been worse. Alright, and now it's time for Mega Man 2, the only Mega Man game I've beaten so far. I practiced this so much when I did the Let's Play for this. Um, let's see if I retained- if I retained anything. I played it briefly the other day, but... The little screwy ice cream cones kicked my ass last time I played this. In Japan, E-Tanks are called E-Cans. They do look like a can. Hello, Evil Alex. And thank you, Eric. Normal. Okay, then we start with Metal Man. I mean, wait. Is it Metal Man? Yeah, it is Metal Man. Okay. Yeah, the drills. Thank you, Mike. I was like, what is that called? Let's get an E-Tank. Because I'll probably need it. this part but you can farm here so maybe I'll just stay right here shit 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 yeah okay that went better than last time I like how he jumps. And this guy, this crazy guy that's on top of the gears. Who is he? Why is he so crazy? I asked Mike to help me with some of the later Mega Man's coming up and if he's free because I know I'm gonna be horrible at it. And it's comforting to not to like have someone else here with me <laughs> when I'm going through them, so he might show up in a bit. But let's see. Ah! Shit! I am in a bad scenario. Can I get this E tank though? Oh! Usually I skip that because that happens. That's okay. 
I mean, it's not okay, but. Can you even make that jump? I don't even think you can. Shit, and he respawned. At least there's health. Yay! I like these enemies. I don't know, they're funny to me. Ugh! Hello, Ryan Pyro, what's up? Thank you, E-Tank. I just... I feel like it's, uh... Three kicks my ass really bad, and I'm afraid of it. And I don't even think I've tried four. Shit. I have no method to this guy. I just jump and try to get hits in. And I'm depending on the E-Tank I have. Yeah! Boom, bitch! That went better than expected! Two is the only one I'm actively good at. The rest I need to practice. Yeah, they're tough, I think. You usually do Airman first and use his power on him. Mm. Alright, so that was Mega Man 2. And do I hear Mike? Mike's here. Hi. Thank you for being here for moral support. What's up? Well, we're playing. Let me try to get over. You can kind of see us. All right. I need to move this this way so I can see it. I'm afraid of this one. I remember we start with Top Man. Yeah, Top Man. I don't know why the card's glitching out. It's, it. it's just, it's been doing that. It's weird. It is just right there with this game when I tried it earlier. Oh, with this game? Yeah. What if I reset it? You can try. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's gonna fix it. Maybe it will. Okay. Maybe it will fix it. What if it does? It's quite possible. Um. Mega Man 3. Back in the day when I got this game, it was probably like 1990. Mm-hmm. I remember specifically, like, I was, like, really excited to get this game, because I had already loved Mega Man 2. Yeah. And I got this game, and I remember it. Oh, man. It's still, it's not it's a like big worse. deal. It goes, it goes away. <laughs> All right. Um, I remember throwing the box away. Oh, no. I remember, I remember I originally kept all my boxes, and then... And then I was like, oh, all my friends don't keep their boxes. Maybe I'm weird. And I threw them away. Yeah. But in my gut at first, I was going to keep my Super Nintendo boxes. We used, to, we used to do that. At least I, I, as I grew up, I realized I wasn't alone because most people have that threat. I think I would keep the instruction manuals, but not the, not the boxes because I don't know. That's what, that's what uh, yeah, I found, like, I'm still finding, like, random, like, instruction manuals throughout my house, throughout my parents' house. It's, like, really funny. <laughs> this part, I get hit a lot, because I can't tap a tap a tap it fast. I'll have to try it with my EverDrive and see if it's the console or if it's the EverDrive. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It might be the console. Oh, yeah, and then I do this. I remember this and then that. And then, uh, that. Mega Man has a dog. He does. This is why I'm here. Well. To be able to help. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't wait for that. It all worked out just fine. Oh, and, and I need to switch, I need to switch. And make really insightful commentary. Well, because I thought maybe if I got super stuck, I would need 
I would need help. And then people can say Mike beats games for her. But I don't care, it's comforting having another person here. Because <laughs> these games stress me out. Because I'm crazy. You should play Mega Man X7. That's a real good one. You'll probably really like it a lot. Oh, wait, wait. I fucked up. I'm gonna die. Slidey slide. Yay, health! Mega Man's Hotel. Hotel Mario. <laughs> Hotel Mega Man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny idea. Somebody should make that. Can you imagine? Hotel Mega Man. That's funny. Oh shit. That's oh, funny shit. as hell. It's like hard to dodge these because it won't slow down. Mega Man's Hotel on the CDI. <laughs> oh, that cat always gets me. Aw, oh, poor cat. Where is it gonna start me? Is this the very beginning? The beginning of the level. Well, I thought, I thought... You have to make it to the checkpoint, which You're... I bet is right after that cat. <sighs> Die! I'm fucked. <laughs> Watch me beat the whole game right now. Don't show <laughs> off. I will murder you. <laughs> this game gets really hard later on. Yeah. I believe it. Uh, there's a part where the robot masters from Mega Man 2 come in. There's there's like robots that are almost look like Transformers or something. And then like the souls of the enemies from Mega Man 2 like go into the robots. It's really weird. And, okay. And it's like, like it's like much later oh, in the game. Shit. That whole part's pretty hard to do. Because you have to fight multiple bosses I think in a row. Yeah. I think that's this game. What do you think is the hardest out of all six of the NES ones? Probably one. Really? Probably. Okay. Uh, and, then the, and then I would say this one second. And then... Four would probably be the third. Yeah, I got him. Then maybe six. Uh, the uh, the easiest the easiest ones are Mega Man Two and Mega Man Five. I should try five next then, and slowly work my way up. That I mean that's my opinion. People might. It's a, it depends too on different different stages. Yeah. Order, but I think five and two are probably the easiest ones. One and I'd say one and one and three probably the mm. hardest. So you this is one of the hardest I, I think. It's not that hard. You've beaten way harder games. Is this is this harder than Castlevania Chronicles on PS One? Oh, Castlevania Chronicles is a thousand times harder than this game. <laughs> are you kidding? I'm just trying to think of hard games I've beaten. Oh yeah, you well, you you know what you do? That's you're, you're a lot better than me at it. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a hard time with it. The uh, that Genesis Castlevania. Oh yeah. You're like really good at that, and I thank you. I suck at that. Yeah, I feel like if I like do any challenges with the Castlevania game, that's the one that I would do. And you did the one with the like the dude Shit, with the I'm spirit. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> you did the one with the dude that has like the spear. Oh, Eric. Yeah, I see. I don't even know. You know a lot more about it than I do. Because I'm all. I'm. Yeah, Bloodlines. Yeah. I beat that game one time, but. Oh, really? Only once? I think only once. Maybe. Did you use. Maybe twice? Did you use Eric with the spear? Did you use the Belmont? I think it was the Belmont. I've never. Really... I've beaten it both ways. I tried the spear guy, like. Once. He's, like, if you can do, like the move he does it's like it's probably it makes it a lot easier that game if you use the move him he does, what move? he does a thing where he jumps with the spear downwards like a like that game you were playing the other day on NES oh uh low G man yeah yeah Aaron really likes low G man I do but then I got to that first boss and it destroyed me yeah 
I don't really know much about that game. I'm just weird, and for some reason it. There's some, there, there was a game you were playing a little earlier. I, I saw this. I saw this stream earlier, and there was a game you were playing with like a. There's like this almost like a, a horizontal shmup, and then the guy got like legs. Yeah, I wrote it down. I when I played that, I forget what it's called already. I didn't really get into it. Uh -huh. I, I think it's funny how games that you would think be like, oh, Aaron's probably going to get real into Mega Man 3. And she, she doesn't get, like, real into that, but she, like, because this is, like, the so famous. She's like, I like low G-Man, you know, and I'm stuff a, like that. I'm a crazy person. <laughs> I think maybe you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great, though. I think, honestly, I think that's more Shit. interesting because so many people, everybody, like, knows about Mega Man. So it's just kind of like, I think it's more interesting to be like, yeah, I played, like, low G-Man. I'm like, all right, well, that's kind of cool. Yay! Because, Sorry. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. Unless this is the checkpoint. I think that I think this is the checkpoint. Oh, please be a checkpoint. I think it is. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, yeah. Let's see, let's see if I'm right or not. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Have I played Luigi's Mansion? Oh, I played it here and there. Last life. That sucks. No. Can I try it? Yeah, sure, you try it. Give me a second. I I felt the rage building. It's more interesting when Erin plays what she's passionate about, like Castlevania. Yeah, I guess I get more into it. Every single classic Vania game is harder than any given Mega Man game. If you go off and farm E-Tanks at the start, it'll trivialize the game. Trivialize. Oh, uh, farming E-Tanks. I mean, you can, you can do that. Huh? I think with Beautiful. this game, the slowdown is what is my biggest enemy. The slowdown is r is rough for sure in this game. I, I wonder if somebody's done a Mega Man three like slowdown hack. If they haven't, they I'm, I'm sure they probably have because it's Mega Man. Yeah. Never really thought about it. Speaking of slowdown hacks, I was just messing with uh, like Super R Type. Uh huh. And that game has a bunch of um, like slowdown hacks for it, like Gradius three does too, so that the game doesn't have. So that the game isn't slow like that or laggy, yeah. but don't like R type, super R type. It's like hard enough as it is. It's like I almost want the slowdown to be there because it's like without the oh, slowdown, well, it's like the bullets would be moving a thousand miles per hour. Like I don't know. Yeah, I can see that with shmups. Like technically, yeah, that would be better. You would think because it's the there's no slowdown, but I'm almost like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you're a super expert at it. Our type's hard though. Y yeah. They want to know did you play the Mega Man Legends games? I haven't. Uh, you mean like Mega Man 64? Is that I what they mean? It's I not just the same thing, like Mega Man Legends and Mega Man 64. It's kind of like the I same. I don't know actually. And one has like cutscenes and one doesn't or whatever. So I had Mega Man 64. Uh huh. And. I didn't like it because it wasn't like these. Uh-huh. So I I sort of tapped out with back in the day with like Mega Man X4 was like the last one I kind of like was like into. And mm -hmm. then once I got to like X5 and I was out with that. Like I liked Meg. well, I had Mega Man X mm -hmm. and I would play that all the time. And then Mega Man X2 and X3, I didn't, I never had those ones. Mm -hmm. I've streamed, I beat Mega Man X2 on stream a few years ago. X3 I've never really done. Um, X5, X6, X7, X8, all those. I don't, <laughs> so many. <laughs> yeah, I don't really get into those ones too much. It's overwhelming. So I'm more about, about the ones I do like though. Uh, I'm, this is the classic series. There's yeah. like Mega Man and then there's the Mega Man X series. Yeah. Um, I like uh, I like Mega Man nine and ten. Which uh -huh. are like those they like made those late like way later. And they're like they're like the NES games. So basically I like the ones that are like this. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Uh, I, I like the Super Nintendo ones, but I kinda I kinda prefer these. It, I prefer it like this. So when I play beyond that what I do is I play like the Mega Man hacks. Because mm -hmm. I like like the style of it. One that's really good is mm -hmm. uh, Mega Man Rock and Roll. That's like oh, a, I remember when that's you a did fan that. made one, and that one's awesome. You can play as Roll, and she uh, she has like a double jump in that, mm -hmm. and 
when you play as her and she has a double jump, you never want to play as Mega Man ever again because <laughs> she's like way better. Yeah, I imagine a double jump. Yeah, would be pretty that game was yeah. awesome. That game was awesome. Just quietly don't speak of the Game Boy games, those big pointer. Are the Game Boy games hard? Oh, like bad. I mean, oh, uh, I forgot. The, so the Game Boy games are all like ports, kind of, of mm. the NES games, except for. Except for Mega Man 5. Yeah. Mega Man 5 is its own new game. Oh, okay. And it's not just like a port. There's like new robot masters and everything. Mega Man 5 on Game Boy is amazing. Okay. But the other one's not so much. I was just going to say this part with the spinny tops. I can do that part really easily where you're jumping across the spinny tops. Yeah. I hear you. That part. Here, do the boss or whatever. All right. I forget what boss this is. Top Man. Top Man. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then you slide under it. Well, no. Yes and no. <laughs> Shit, I jumped too early. <laughs> He's doing his little twirls. I need it. I don't have the timing down for that. Ah, oh, fuck. It's okay. It's fine. It'll start me over here. Da -da 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 -da. Everything's fine. Just Mega fine. Man Soccer? Yeah, I'm, I'm good on Mega Man Soccer. <laughs> Uh, I'm so bad at the timing there. Get up further away from him. Then you'll have more time to anticipate. Shit. Then you also have to get hits in. Okay, because then I can come on your stream and do that with Castlevania Bloodlines. Like, you're like, should I just like beat the whole game right now? You can. You should. We should do that. Yeah. You're. You should do that with Splatterhouse, because I can't. Oh yeah, I, can I can't. Do that. I can't beat Splatterhouse. You can't beat it. I tried it on your stream, and I couldn't get past that stage where you with the. Uh... I beat Splatterhouse too. Yeah, see, but that's the one I have trouble with. The first one, I couldn't beat it. <laughs> Yay! There you go. Alright, now on to Mega Man 4. Do you want to reset it for me? Sure. Mega Man 4. Teamwork. I forget, have I even practiced this one ever? Oh, God. oh, this is the one with the rain. I like the green color here. I think it's very vibrant. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is the charge shot one. I guess I don't need to worry about those penguins. Shit. You can kill some of these dudes for, like, energy. Hold on. The, I don't, the, the, uh... Those red guys, you mean? Kill them for energy? Yeah. The jumps are hard with where it's, like, pushing against you with the yeah. rain. Yeah. There's like, I mean, there's a video, it's like, games that like, do that, do like this. push you with the rain, like, there's a bunch. There's a part in Prison City that's like that, I was just playing the other day, and uh, I think Ninja Gaiden 2, yeah, like that. Yeah. 
You try it. You got an extra life. At least that. You take it slower than I do. A little bit. You gotta stop to kill the guys. Yeah. See, I try to just, like, run through it. Yeah, that's the problem. These jumps are hard, though. I hate, I hate, I don't like that in games when they do, like, the rain, like, the pushing yeah. action stuff, like, I think that might be one of the reasons I don't really like Ninja Gaiden 2 very much. Mm. I really like Ninja Gaiden 1 with the Ray, but there's, there's that, but that's, like, not, like, a long part of the game, but what I, I don't, there's a part where you, like, uh, like, Ryu gets duplicated, what, like that, oh, like yeah. there's like multiple. Yeah, of him. I don't like that. That I, makes I me yeah. um, disoriented. Yeah, I don't like that. that mechanic. So I never really. I beat Ninja Gaiden two on stream, but I did it like once because I don't really like that one that much. Yeah. So I don't play that like over and over the way I do like one and three. Um. Fuck. What was I gonna say? Oh, there's the rain pushing against you and Karate Kid. On NES, right? Oh, yeah, I think or so. Wind. It's wind. Or wind, yeah. But there's like a storm going on. Because yeah. like, that's like in the movie. Yeah. In Karate Kid 2, in the movie. <laughs> Ninja Spirit? Yeah, Ninja Spirit 2. You gotta do Plant Man first when you play 6. Not only is he easy, but you get the robot dog jet armor for beating him. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Plant Man. I thought, what about Wind Man? Can you also do Wind Man? Or. I can try both. Well, I can do anything. Well, I can do anything. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> I like this guy. See, yeah, he's so cool. I feel right? like they got a little more cartoony with the with the later incarnations, mm -hmm. where the first game seems a little more like I don't know. They're like a, maybe not cartoony, but like it's. A, I feel like these later ones are like a little goofier. Yeah. I don't know. To me. Like that rat looks yeah. better, like a Tom and Jerry thing or something. Giant robotic snail. <laughs> yeah. I like him. His eyeballs even come off. It's crazy. <laughs> the stage is way harder than the boss. The stage. Usually the stage is in general are yeah. harder than the boss. Not always. Sometimes the bosses are tough. I think uh, Mega Man 3... It depends, like, if you don't have the items, though. Like, because sometimes I've tried to do where you might fight, the, or if I do it in the wrong order, you might get to the mm -hmm. boss and you don't have, like, the right item. If you, you know, if you don't have it, like, memorized. Yeah. I remember, I think, like, Gemini Man in Mega Man 3 is, like, really hard to do if you don't have the right thing. The, boss, the bosses can be hard sometimes. I can see you a little more. They don't need to see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. Yo, check this shit out. What? Wait, how many lives do I have? I was too busy messing with the camera. So it's like. Watch this. So here's the deal. You get like close to him. Uh -huh. Oh, he wiggles. And then he jumps, and he slides, and you just do this. As long as you're like close, and, and you keep it going if you like wait too long. And then he uh, he starts like rain starts coming down. In fact, I'll show that. Oh really? Oh like, my god. Like that happens. But if you just like do this, then he dies. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Rain man. I'm afraid. Yeah, you get close to him. 
and then slide under and like jump. Or, or walk under. You just keep doing this and that's it. You can't get hit though, you're gonna die. I, well, I've never gotten to this boss before. Don't get some close to him. I did it! He's easy. Yay! Next game. Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mega Man 5! Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, Starman. Starman. Oh, there he is. Not Starman, but Mega Man. Mm, Mega Man. Rock Man. Starman looks like a Rainbow Bright character, kind it of. It kind of does. Not even an E-can yet. I know. Apparently in Japan they call them E-can instead of E-tanks. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Ah! I didn't watch the Mega Man cartoon, though. Um... Did you? Uh, usually I couldn't catch it. It would be like on, I think, I want to say it was like on when I was like in school or like it would be on when I was like still asleep or something like early in the uh -huh. morning, you know, or be like I had to go to the bus or something. I feel like it was always like on at a bad time for me to catch it. I remember catching it like once or twice and wanting to watch it, but like it was just never like on at a good time for me. But, uh. Later on, though, I bought the DVDs and stuff, so I've seen, I've seen it, you know, since like later. But I mean, like originally back in the day when it was on, I couldn't really catch it. I hated, I hated that. I, actually, with the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, that happened to me all the time because I, I mean, I don't remember the exact time I would get home from school, but let's say it was like like around 2.30 or something and the show was like on at 2.30 so like the bus had to like get me home yeah, sure. which would take like you know 10-15 minutes or whatever mm -hmm. and then I basically I'd be able to catch like the last five minutes or so of the yeah. Super Mario Brothers Super Show so I, I remember like on Fridays getting off the bus and running home <laughs> because I knew that the Zelda cartoon was on and I was trying to like catch as much of the Zelda cartoon as I could because this is the day. This is before like everything you could just rewatch it, yeah. you know, on YouTube or on the internet or Fuck. whatever. So I'm like I'm like running home, <laughs> and then I get home and he's like, "Excuse me, princess," and I was like, "Oh, thank God I made it." Thank God, quality <laughs> entertainment. Before VHS, I mean, there might have been like a maybe like a VHS with had an episode or two, but. Maybe. I don't even know if there I'm, was. Just jump. I didn't have a Zelda cartoon VHS though. Why not just tape it? Because I was like, um. <gasps> 10 when that was on, and I didn't know. I didn't know until a little later. By the time I was like 13 or 14, I knew how to do that. When I was 10, I didn't know how to set the VCR to do that yet, which is why I didn't just tape it, and nobody was going to do it for me, because I had to learn everything myself, you know? So I, what I used to do is I used to tape, uh, I used to tape like David Letterman and stuff that I wanted to see like on Cartoon Network, like I wanted to see like Thundercats on Cartoon Network, but it would be on like when I wasn't home and shit, so I started to learn how to program the VCR, uh, for what time I wanted to record something, even if I wasn't there. So I didn't know, when the Super Mario Brothers Super Show was on, I didn't know how to do it. Uh. There's so many. Either that, or even if I did know how to do it, I, I probably didn't even think of that idea, you know, back then. 
you let the VHS recorder run overnight to record horror films. Yeah, I would get those VHS tapes that would ha you could do like the the long play ones where it's like eight hour tapes, you know, and you just re you can record Mega like hours Man and hours. Goes to the Lincoln Memorial in the cartoon. Oh shit! <gasps> you're good. You're good. Is that post hit invincibility, whatever they call it? You have to jump all the way over. Nice. nice. Oh. oh. That would have been nice. Take your time. Oh, crap. Probably should have grabbed the <sighs> one up. That's all right, though. I mean, you were almost there. You can just walk over it. Uh. Meh. <laughs> Thanks, Leanne Lightkeen, for subscribing to Oh, uh, Thank channel. you, Leanne Lightkeen. Hope you've been well. 46 whole months. Ugh. You were rewatching the Pee Wee appearances? Oh, on Letterman. Yeah. He came on there one time dressed as a devil. <laughs> which I'm sure this guy would appreciate here. Yeah. What's this person's name? Carly or something? Carly. It tells you on the tag. Oh yeah, Car it is Carly. The one thing about Squishmallows, I feel like their names that they give them, they don't match their personality. I don't think that that's a Carly. I don't think so either. What would you name the devil? I don't know. Lucifer? Thomas. He looks like a Thomas. <laughs> but if that has to be a girl name, then I don't know. Um, I don't know. Ah! It's like Hordak. <laughs> yeah. But he turns into a rocket. Aaron's a big fan of Secret of the Sword. <laughs> Deborah, yeah, Deborah. Ah! Deborah's a good one. Not a good time to look at the chat. Well, I got. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Fuck. There's a petition for a Mega Man Squishmallow. I could see that happening. Rice Man says, don't look at the ceiling. No. You guys aren't gonna start with that again. I'm not looking for ghosts on the ceiling. <laughs> Do you think Dan Aykroyd has ghosts on his ceiling? Definitely. Does Capcom even care about Mega Man these days? Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> they abandoned it. They started doing the Mighty Number no. 9 and all that crap. Konami abandoned Castlevania and Capcom abandoned Mega Man. Right. I mean, they did Mega Man 11, but like, it's pretty, it's, it's regardless, it's like abandoned again. I think they just, they just do like Street Fighter now. Right, like, right? Like, I don't know what else they're doing. Just go, instead of standing on top of them. mascot, if any. Um, no. What about Captain Commando? What about Captain Commando? <laughs> Why? Because you didn't jump. You didn't jump. Damn it. Whatever. So that's Mega Man 5. I feel like that, though, I could get through that before I get through Mega Man 3. It's an easier game. Given that level. Did you ever get that Commando soundtrack on vinyl? <laughs> oh, do they sell it? I would buy it. They probably don't. That's, I'm sure that's a joke. But if they did... The thing is, is a lot of 
these NES games do have vinyls. So like, if it existed, I'd get it. <laughs> okay, so you just say you start with Wingman. Uh, what does the guy, the guy in the chat say? Plant Man? He wanted Plant Man. Okay, we can do Plant Man. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, try that, I guess. I we'll try Plant Man. Pla <laughs> plant Man. Hello, Ryu. Ah. Can I break this? No. I guess E Tank would know the name of what E Tanks are in Japan. Right? Makes sense. It, it makes sense given his name. Oh my god. Look at this stompy go, guy. Go, 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 go. Shit. <laughs> this game has all kinds of new mechanics. You can be, uh, I guess the hammer farm. Yeah, maybe. If you were charging, you'd be able to kill him in one shot. Um, yeah, if they want to give me anything, that is. Oh, of course, then I might die. Well, you won't die if you fill your health up. They're not gonna give me anything. Shit! I am Mega Man's out! The bird that follows you. Yeah, you got beat. You have a bird that follows you. And this? You have a jetpack. Oh my god. You have an arm that shoots off like Iron Man, I believe. All kinds of stuff. That's cool. There's grasshopper robots that jump I like around. the grasshopper robots. I can't do anything! Help me. I can't farm there. I can't do it. Mega Man out. There's six so far. There are, there's a lot. They're really, I think they made too many. I, th I feel like they should have. Don't you really like this one though? I like six. I kind of wish they would have just not made five and just made six and then there were, had five Mega Man games on NES instead. Even five is a lot. They could honestly. It is pretty crazy they, they, they made so many for one console. There's a lot of Dragon Warrior too. They probably could have stopped at four. Like just Mega Man 4 and just stop until Super Nintendo. Because like it's like a lot. But it was so popular. They were making so much money. They were making bank on Mega Man. They're like, more Mega Man, more Mega Man. Every year, every year, another one. <laughs> Somebody, they, they were buying, everybody in the company was buying themselves a new house. Why won't you die? Are you good? I guess he was good. They weren't going to miss out on that money. Yeah, exactly. You can push him back if you hit the face, but just hit his eyes. I feel like the charge shot takes too long for this. Because he just keeps getting closer. Ah, yeah, you can try. Do, 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 do. That stage was cool though, because it's like. It looks like Mega Man on Earth, kind of. 
don't charge shot the big monkey, okay? <laughs> He's kind of like a big monkey See, robot. What I, what I do is I charge and then I go. Usually, charge. That's what I was trying to do. Let's see if I can take this guy out. Okay, it just doesn't take that many. You're good at going tap, 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 tap. I can't do that. I don't remember this stage, like, at all. I have really? no, no recollection of this level. <laughs> I, w I played these ones, like, six I haven't played, like, all that much. I've probably beaten this one, like, three times in my life. Not many. I like this game a lot, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I just always end up going back to, like, three or four. One, two, three, or four. I guess I should, I mean, maybe I should play six again. Ooh, springies. I do like this one. I say Mega Man like Castlevania is like getting used to level and boss after I can't read all that. This game's not my favorite, but it's still kinda cozy. It seems cozy. With the hint of stress. Ooh! Do the flowers hurt you? Oh, it's health. <laughs> That's, That's cute. See, I don't remember that either. I like that. That was cute. I should probably replay. I should probably like restream this because I don't re remember the game. Better than the springs in Mario, that's for sure. Take note, take note, Mario. <laughs> okay, I'll check that out. You see, is that the Lincoln Memorial Mega Man episode link? You can see Mike played a lot of Mega Man since Evil Alex. Yes. Well, you grew up with it. Yeah, I, I played it all the time. Oh my God, Plant Man. Ah, he runs. <laughs> I like his little run. Yeah. This is gonna take a while. You gotta do a charge shot each time. You like charge it, jump over the thing, hit him, and jump over him. Okay. Will this stay charged? Do this? Probably not. I think it does. Thanks. So let's say. Okay. Jump over it. Boy, he's getting close. So that's annoying. Jump over it, and, just, and that's when you hit him with the charge. Boom, and then jump over. Or oh, maybe not. I don't know either. That's tough. Hard. Hello, Ouija. Good morning. And hello, person 624. Yeah, it was better, exactly. I don't know. I don't really. I don't know either. Like, what you would do? Is this really the first guy you would do? I feel like you should have an item on this guy. Not that you can't. I guess the pattern is not too bad. He just gets so close to you. Yeah. Like, you probably have to, like. Maneuver differently. You probably have to like slide under him or something to get oh. like, to get like far enough away to. Cause sometimes he's like so close. I'm not really sure. Can I try it? Yeah, try it. I, I if there's any lives yeah, left. If there's any. Damn it. Fuck. 
I'm kind of good to end it. Or do you want to try it? You try it. I'm gonna try, try it. Try it again. Sliding does help. What I think we should do is just start over at Mega Man 1 <laughs> and go through all of them. We'll just beat all of them. Yeah. Like, all the stages. Sounds sounds totally fun. Let's get everything, too. Like, Mega Man 5 has letters to collect. I want to get all the letters, too. <laughs> what do you think about that? That sounds... That sounds like... Just like... Know. I mean, just like before we end the stream. Yeah. We'll just do it. Like, all of them. Yeah. It'll only take, like, six hours. It'll take longer than that. <laughs> take like 10 hours. There's a new tank. There you go. I'd react to the Mega Man clip now, but then you guys can't see it. So you want to know what I'm reacting to, but I'll watch it after the stream. What Mega Man clip? Wait. There's a Mega Man clip of you Mega Man at the Lincoln Memorial. Watch it while I'm doing this. Okay. Oh, that helmet, little brother. You're on, That was pretty funny. Here's the link if anybody wanted to see it. <laughs> that was funny. I always thought like Proto Man was supposed to be like good, and then like sometimes it, I guess he's just he's kind of like good or bad. Is he kind of like a Godzilla where it's like sometimes he's bad, sometimes he's good? He's because it's like. I don't know. He had sunglasses, Mike. He's bad, says Shishi. I guess. <laughs> Racer X, right? Yeah, Racer X was another one of those, right? It's like, kind of, he's kind of bad, kind of good. You know Aaron, like, from Speed Racer? From the, I don't know anything about from Speed the 19, Racer. From the 1960s. <laughs> Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He's a demon, and he's gonna be chasing after someone. <laughs> My god. They made like a Speed Racer movie at some point. I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about oh, that. Oh yeah, the live action one. Yeah, I don't know anything about from, that. From like 10 years ago or something. I, I only know the ancient one from the 60s. Boing, boing, boing. Don't some people like really like the Speed Racer movie? Probably. I think there's, there's a game of it too. Oh yeah. yeah. It's one of the worst anime movies, but the race is so goofy it's fun to make fun of. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you do any better than I was. So far, not really. Ugh. Dude, like, I think this is a terrible guy to start with. Maybe you do need some ability. You guys got trolled. I feel like it. I mean, the stage is like cute. I don't know. If you're in the right spot, like now I might do it. If, I, if you gotta get him in the right pattern, now I might be able to do it. Cause like he's not like up your ass. He's just doing the same thing every time. See now he's probably gonna be easy. Mate, oh, well, now he's changing it up. 
See, now I got a problem. Do the same thing again, idiot. Here you go, try it. No. Oh, oh my god, you're so good. Wow, thank you, Mike. Look how good Damn. I am. Damn. <laughs> how did you do that? Magic, <laughs> thanks to you. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my god. God, ah, Aaron, it's so amazing. But you know what, like five and six feel more doable to me than three and four. Yeah. So maybe five and six are like better. You have a robot jetpack now. You want to see the robot jetpack? Yeah, you should see it. It's okay. Cool. Continue. Yes. Or just... Stage select. Like, you see a different stage. Uh, what should I do? Do the wind man. I guess. Master wind. Breaker of wind. Ha 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 ha. So do I have to like, oh, I can change the jet yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. And there's pandas. Jump off the thing and try it. Let's see it. Look at you. Wee. <laughs> That's funny. Sounds like he's blowing a fart. Kind of. Oh wait. That, that was the sound. That's how they recorded the sound effect. Yeah. They're like, we need a sound effect of him like <laughs> flying through the sky. Wee. I want to do that again. Wee. You can use the fan, or you can use your jetpack. But the fan was more fun. <laughs> I mean, they're both pretty fun. Yeah, with a, that, you can't charge your buster anymore, but you can fly, so. Ooh. Wee! <laughs> ah! Aww. Do you want to try the jetpack? It's so fun. You can't charge your buster or slide, but you can fly, so fair trade, yeah. Hey, Dragon Warrior Brian, good to see you in the stream. Hope you have a good day. Late, so, and later on you get like an arm cannon thing too. Oh, wow. Well, you have an arm cannon, you have. But you get like a special one? Yeah, like your arm flies off. Do you have any Mega Man posters? I don't, but Mike does. Don't you have one up? Or I have you used two, to? I have two up. I have uh, the like Me Mega Man 2 poster, which is like, kind of like yellow, and it's mm -hmm. Dr. Wily and a bunch of the Robot Masters on it. And then I have a German Mega Man poster. That which, one's cool. Yeah, I wish the art on that is really nice. That's one of my favorite posters. I think, I don't know, like it was probably in some magazine or something. I don't know exactly where it's from. Even Matt Stalker would know. I don't think he's in here anymore. Uh, <laughs> anyway, though. Are you having fun with the jetpack, Mike? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys. You distracted me. I'm going to end it here. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with some more of the letter M. We have, we have a lot more to go. All right. Have a good day. Bye, guys. I'm almost at night. Bye. Okay, so we have more letter M to get through. We ended the last stream with Mega Man. So now it's time to Mendel for Mendel Palace. I've played this game before, but it's been a while. It's like a puzzle game. Um, let's see if I remember how to play it. There we go, there's some music. So you're like pushing these cards things. That, but you're also trying to push these guys against the wall and break them. Ooh. Oh, you're supposed to collect the bubbles, maybe? Oh, no. 
and you can't touch them. And I'm not sure what these stars do, if you're supposed to uncover them or not. Oh, you're just supposed to collect them. Whoa. Uh. What's this do? I guess I won't know. Oh, so if I walked over that, it would have... Oh, that didn't do anything. I, I used it at a wrong time. No, I ran into him. I thought I could push on the card to put him into the wall. This is Mendel Palace. Shit, I walked right into him. That was an accident. But it's funny because the title screen for this doesn't match the game at all, in my opinion. I'll have to show it again. Because it looks like it's like a fighting game or something. Like, a, it looks like a beat em up title screen, in my opinion. Shit. Ah. Yay. So this game's fun. I like it. We'll move on soon. And I'll talk to the chat more. I feel like I started uh, really fast without talking too much, but damn it. See, then other times I talk for like 20 minutes before I start playing, so I never know. <laughs> I never know what I'm gonna do. But see, doesn't that title screen make it look like it's a like a side-scrolling beat-em-up? I think it does. Hello, Mr. Shig. What's the- yes, this is Mendel Palace. Hello, evil Alex. Hello, Midnight Snowman. Do you like the Super Nintendo? I do. That was my very first console growing up. I wish there was music here, but whatever. So anyway, Mendel Palace. Good puzzle game. Next up we have Metal Gear. So I don't really know a lot about Metal Gear. And I know there's probably some of you in the chat that are very uh, knowledgeable with this game, so please forgive me that I have no idea what I'm doing. I just know you're supposed to be stealthy and not not get noticed and walk by things. That's all I know. So I'm a little nervous. And did I ever play Medieval on PS1? I haven't, but um, it looks like a good game. I would try it out for sure. Okay, so this guy's getting sleepy. So I guess I slowly walk by him. I feel asleep? I bet he meant he fell asleep. Ah! And now I have to walk by these dogs. Oh shit, I can't go that way. This is a very stressful game. Ah! <laughs> I'm sure I was supposed to like go up to that Jeep and do something, but. Oh, we're in a predicament. This isn't where we're supposed to go. So I think I do have to go back up there. This is so stressful. Well, what am I supposed to do then? Do I go up to this car? Ah, no. Oh, I died. <laughs> There's also a remake version of Medieval on PS4. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. 
Oh my god. Should I continue this? I'll continue it. I'll try it one more time. I don't know what I'm supposed to do though. Am I supposed to go to this guy's like car maybe? Okay. No! Like, am I supposed to do anything to these objects? I don't get this game. Oh god. I tried fighting the dogs off, but it didn't work. Right side you're supposed to go down? But how do you go down the right side? Let me try it again. Here. You can't do anything to the vehicles? Okay. See, but his feet are moving. He doesn't look asleep. So I have to go around this way. Like, how do you get over there to the right? It's a sneak around type of game, not fight. Yeah, I'm bad at sneaking. He only feels asleep. That doesn't mean he's asleep. <laughs> oh, you only move while their heads are down. Oh. Okay, let me try one more time and then we'll move on to the next game. I just want to see. See this guy though. Oh, he, he caught me right away. Let's try it again. See, and then he says I feel asleep, and then after this, the little Z's aren't coming out anymore. So it's like... Do I wait till he falls asleep again, I wonder? Okay. Oh, and then I only move when he's getting sleepy. Okay, I get it now. I should play the MSX version of this instead of this one? Okay. Yeah, I'm just- I've never played this before, so we're just messing around. It's like red light, green light. It really is. I don't know how into this I am. Okay, so we made it here. Now I'm only supposed to go when their heads are down. That would make sense. Oh, nope. Oh, I made it. <laughs> At least we're making it a little further. Is this guy gonna fall asleep too? Oh my god. <laughs> How was the Strokes concert? Did they play Reptilia? It was amazing. It was probably the best time I've seen them. It was like the best set list I could have asked for. I was like freaking out the entire time and the crowd was really into it. It was amazing. And yes, they did play Reptilia. And I like that they didn't close with it because that's always their closing song. They played it like kind of early in the set list, which was unexpected. So that was really awesome. And thank you so much, Dan Evil Robot, for subscribing for 35 whole months. Thanks so much. It's going. It's going. All right. So now time for a metal mech. Man and machine. I have no idea what this is. 
What was the ender? They ended with last night. I was kind of hoping they'd end with New York City cops, but I'm like, oh, it was a, it was a good way to end it. You wonder what songs they're sick of playing? They're probably for sure sick of playing last night. I had imagine. Look at this. Let's do it, mech. <laughs> oh, is this gonna be like... Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so funny. You can't- can you not fire down? Can you jump on them? Oh, you can jump on them. Oh, and you can shoot up. This is really funny. What's underground? Are those little rats or little bugs? Okay, so you can angle fire. <laughs> this is so weird. It's like, it feels like really clunky, which I guess it should because you're in a mech. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, you can break the windows? That's kind of cool. So we're just walking around town, trying not to get blown up. And look at the robot dog. Oh my god, we're gonna die. There's too much! There we go. Come on! Oh, do I get that? I don't get it. Maybe it's bad. I feel like I'm kind of quiet. I don't mean to be. I'm just like... So this just keeps going on and on and on, I guess. I mean... Alright. So this is Metal Mech. I mean, I guess, what else would it be? <laughs> oh, that's nice you got to see them. Something like it's not. That's awful, Zero Phases. Oh, this has an action figure of Krang? Oh, in that metal mech thing? Is there like a thing that looks like Krang? This is like four mech games in a row and metal mech is not the better one. You can get out of the mech like in Blaster Master. You have a little guy in there. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay, so next up we have Metal Storm. I almost beat this once. We got to the very last boss and I rage quit. <sighs> that was a very stressful stream. <laughs> I lost my mind. This game made me lose my mind. That was like three years ago and I'm still thinking about it. But this game's cool. You can go upside down. You. 
it's not a bad game. I like this game. It just, it gets really hard. But it's, it has cool mechanics. Let's see. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do this. I'll do that. Have I ever played Earthworm Jim? Just very little. I never really got into that. Oh yeah, and then the, I forget what the items do. Shit, no! I thought this was one hit deaths. Maybe it's not. But yeah, so it's a lot of flipping and up and down. The controls are good. Blow up! There we go. And then we got a power up. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that! Where is it gonna start me? Is it gonna start me at the very beginning? Yup. I was gonna say, if you wanna see me play this more, watch the um, stream of it, but I totally didn't save the stream and it's really sad and I wish I did because I got so far. I got to the end boss and I really wish I had that. I might have it somewhere. God knows where. But that was like three years ago or something. It was a long time ago. Just means you gotta beat it as well. <laughs> God, I don't know. Maybe I'd come back to it. I think it's been enough time now. <laughs> no, the stream isn't on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. It's like... It sucks. I, I... It didn't save for whatever reason or I didn't upload it. It was before I was uploading streams on YouTube. No, this way you can say you beat it but lost the stream. I'm not a liar. <laughs> Just say I beat it. How do I get up there? Oh, I was supposed to flip up and... Okay, I get it. No! Well, now I know what to do. Is it gonna say game over? Game over, but anyway... It's a good game. I like it. I recommend it. It's just, it gets really hard. All right, next up we have Metroid. So this game, um, I've only played the Metroid Zero Mission. That's the only Metroid game I've played. So I don't really know what I'm doing. So please keep that in mind. Be kind. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello, E-Tink. Oh yeah, you just missed Metal Storm. Go to the left? Okay, let's go to the left. Oh yeah, because over here I can get the to turn into the ball, right? The screw attack thing. There we go. I would play this. I'm just a little scared because there's no map in this one, right? Or no, this is the one I played, the remake of it. Didn't I play Rio Mission? Zero Mission? That was the one I played, right? I'm like forgetting what it was called. Those streams are like a blur to me. 
Did someone just scream fuck? Yes. That, um... That was Mike, because he is also streaming. Shit, 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 shit. I forgot you can't kneel and... Um... Shoot. No! There we go. Come on. I will get you. There we go. Oh, those hurt you? I thought you could jump on them. That sound is so funny. It's just like, bro. Thank you so much, Shammy Shehole, for gifting a sub to Evil Alex. Thank you so much. All right, let's go over here. I'm just gonna keep going up. Oh God, we're gonna die. We're dead. We're gonna die. Horrible death. Horrible death. I want to get some shit. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to jump into him. Let's see if we can get some life back, some energy back from this guy. So it'll stop beeping at me. I hate when games do that. When you're dying so they just beep at you. It's like, I know. I know I'm playing like shit, okay? You don't have to beep at me. Oh, come on. That should have fired up there. Whatever, here. Let's get this one. Nothing? You're giving me nothing? Hello, K-Train. I don't ignore you. I don't, I try not to ignore anybody. But sometimes I get flustered and I don't see everything in the chat. Cause sometimes multitasking is hard for me. <laughs> And I went poof. Anyway, so that's Metroid. We all know Metroid. I suck at it, but I haven't played it before, really. So if you want to see Metroid, I did Zero Mission, and that's on YouTube. Oh, my God. Metroid's a girl. When do you sleep? I'm awake now. I slept. I sleep plenty. I'm just on a weird sleep schedule. All right, next up we have Michael Andretti's World Grand Prix. Oh, goodness. Oh, yay. I guess we'll do practice mode. The Grand Prix season starts with this very simple course. This is a sharp curve into a straightaway. Enter at 160 kph, but prepares to slow. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna suck. Oh yeah, listen to that. Oh, we're gonna turn. We're gonna turn. Oh. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Okay. 
Am I into any racing games? Um, I like pole position. <laughs> Alright, well, so that's that. I'm over it. Mickey Mousecapade. This game, I don't think I really like it. The more I think of it, I don't think I really like Mickey Mousecapade. I've done a video on it. I beat it, I think. I think I beat it for that video. I just, I don't really enjoy it. The part where it's like the trees are changing color. Okay, so we have to get keys and we have to get the stars to shoot. And you have Minnie behind you. Oh my god, these cats are going crazy! Ah! Yay, now we can- now we have a weapon. There's a Mickey Mouse card game for N64 that's really good. Oh yeah, wait. And then you shoot this and sometimes you get stuff from the paintings. So this made us invincible because we're a little fairy. I don't know, maybe I don't. I don't know what I think about this game. It's not horrible. So this makes me laugh. So you see Mickey picking, peeking through the the blinds over there. There's, I think it's a one-up or something. Let's find out what it is. Yay! Let's see if we can finally find a key. Oh, we got a key. Okay, I don't think there's anything in that one. It's pretty jank, but also kind of charming. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. No! Doesn't this one give you something? Let's see. Nope. This- fuck that. I like how there's random chairs trying to kill you like the house is possessed. Oh yeah, Mad Stalker. In the Japanese version of this, isn't um, isn't it more like Alice in Wonderland themed? Like, I think you see her at the end in the Japanese version. Unless I'm thinking of a different game, but I think it was this one. Go down the stairs, Mickey. Gosh. See, everyone always complains about Minnie in this game, but sometimes Mickey's slow as hell, too. Hold on, let me see something really quick. How many people are in here? 90? That's more than I thought. Hi, people watching me at 5.30 a.m. And now it dropped to 87 because I asked. <laughs> Fair enough. Hello, Matt Stalker. No, it's a Mickey Mouse game in Japan as well. But I think at the end you see Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Like, you still play as um, Mickey Mouse. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. In Japan, it's more obviously about Alice in Wonderland. Okay. I find that interesting. It's like, it has Alice in the US version too? Okay, for some reason I thought it didn't. Oh, it did it again. I didn't know it was going to do that again. Wait, we're supposed to use the key somewhere. That's why I'm backtracking. There. I'm using the- I have the key. Why isn't it letting me in? Maybe it's not the right key. Oh, this one does something. Oh my god, it took Minnie away? 
So that was mean. It makes you think you're doing something good. And then Minnie gets taken away. Now I gotta find Minnie. Why am I playing this for so long? That's the real question. We'll get to the top of this level and I'll probably die at that cat. Yeah, the Famicom, uh, Sanrio games are only uh, in Famicom. But yeah, there's a few Kuropi and Hello Kitty ones. There's a Hello Kitty one, oh, that's kind of like Balloon Fight. And then the Kuropi one is, there's a side scroller and there's one that's like, it's a little different. All right, anyway, so this is Mickey Mouse Capades. I don't know, I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's fine. Next up we have Mickey's Adventures in Numberland. Oh yeah, so these are like for very young kids, so I'll probably only try this for like a second. <laughs> Can you get the spicy red gummy bears there? I don't know what you're talking about. Like where I live, can you buy spicy red gummy bears? I've never looked for them. I like cherry flavored gummy bears. Oh, that's cool, Mad Stalker. Um, I think I know- is that the blue guy? Kaplan? It's like a blue cat? Alright, let's try normal. Number City. Can we go to Number City? Let's go! Collect the magic number one! Where is the magic number one? Oh, we're going up the stairs! Oh, that hurts you? Oh, there's one! How do we collect it? Yay, we got it! So we're just in an office. This is kind of funny. And oh, now there's the cars. And we made it! All games from high-tech are horrible, way worse than any LJ game. Yeah, I did a video on high-tech games, and um, they're not good. Did I ever make that video? Let me see. Yeah, I did, a, I did five bad games from high-tech, yeah. I don't get what this is asking me. Oh, are we supposed to do this in order? Well, we didn't do it in order. Oh, we have to... I can't go down? Yay! Fantastic! Let's go over here. Let's go to the Space Center. Do you ever think you did a video that you never did? Uh, sometimes. Like right now, because I was making so many lists of like bad games from this developer, from that developer. And I'm like, wait, did I actually make that video? So that's why for a second I'm like, did I make the high tech video? And I looked, and I had to look, look it up. Um. So it's more like I forget that I did a video, not so much that I think I did a video that I never did, if that makes any sense. What number are we collecting? Five? Okay, we gotta find the number five. Oh my god, there's beakers. Not two. Hmm. Oh, robots. There's, well, oh, is that a five? It looks like a five, but it'd be, 
Yay, we got the five. All right, so this is Mickey in Numberland. <laughs> and now Mickey's Safari in Letterland. Best and worst Disney games would make a good video if you've not done it before. There's a lot of bad ones. There's some good ones, but there's a lot of bad ones. Let's go to the forest. Beam software. <laughs> Wait, was this a beam game? I didn't. I did those like software bad games from X developer. I did so many of them, like, fast in a row that I'm like, wait, which games did I include? Oh, look at the little mushroom from Fantasia. I, I've played this before. Oh yeah, and you're collecting the letters. It's just... It, it is what it is. It's it's fine if you're like really little, I guess. Hello, Traxler. Aaron getting more into high tech Mickey Mouse education games than Metal Storm. No, we played Metal Storm for a while. Imagine if this was your first NES game as a kid. <laughs> that would be a bummer. Like, I think Mike's first NES game was Ghostbusters, so that could have went poorly. <laughs> Alright, Might and Magic. What's my favorite letter? Hmm, I'm gonna go with E. Because... It starts for- it stands for Aaron. But Z is a fun one, so it's X. X is a fun letter. But C stands for Castlevania. That that's true. C is another good one. Welcome to our town. What is your name? Three. Four, five, six is my name. How do I enter it? I'm about to just move on. If I can't figure this out, there we go. Enter. Be careful. This town is quite dangerous. Is that a xenomorph up there? <laughs> oh, it's one of these. That's fine. Nothing found. Alright, I'm not in the mood for this right now. So this is one of those. Next is Mighty Bomb Jack. So this game, a while back, I think I might have been thinking of a different game, but I was like, oh, I think this game's supposed to be good. And then I was playing it, and I'm like, wait, am I missing something? And then I looked up a playthrough of it. And it looks like the person was doing the same thing, so I was like, okay, I don't think this was the game I was thinking of. But anyway, you're just collecting bombs, and then you bounce on uh, these treasure chests, and then eventually you go to the end, to the exit door, and that's it. And it makes me feel like I'm missing something. Like, I think you have to collect all the bombs. And I'm not sure what it means when you're blue. And you can kind of fly. I am missing something. This game is iconic. Okay. So I'm missing something. <clears throat> if you collect the bombs in the... <clears throat> ah, if you collect the bombs in the right order, you can warp a level ahead. Oh, that's interesting. So, you just have to magically know how to collect the bombs. And all the bombs are red. They all look the same. 
the arcade only sequel called Bomb Jack Twin from 1983 is way better. Sadly, not ported to consoles. Okay. What does he use the bombs for? Who knows? We may never know. The warp thing takes place on the last screen. Oh, you want to collect the bomb with the lit fuse last. Oh, okay. Well, at least there's some indicator of, like, what it's supposed to be. Oh, no! So regular bomb jack is the one you want. Okay. So what if I just collect the, um... The bombs and not do all this treasure chest stuff. Oh my god, you turned into a bird. The warp thing only applies to the final screen at the end of each level. Oh, okay. Would I consider playing the arcade Little Nemo sometime? Maybe. It looks crazy. Like, I looked up, like, footage of it, and, like, this, it looks so different from the NES game. I don't really like how it looks. I don't know. I'd have to see more footage of it. But maybe. I had no idea there was an arcade game for it. Yeah, it's a very floaty uh, jump, for sure. Oh, I see the lit fuse. Okay. So we'll get that one last. Oh my god, it's a lobster. It's a floating lobster. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it starts you at the very beginning? No! I wanted to go to the next stage. <gasps> the arcade version is pretty much the same, but single screen moves faster. Okay. I could see myself liking the arcade version of this, because I don't- because now that I'm kind of understanding, I'm like, oh, that could be cool. I'm just not really enjoying this version of it. I mean, it's fine, but I would like to see how the arcade version is. Come on! Whee! See, and now I missed some bombs, so is it gonna not let me go ahead? Oh my god, it's a skull. I was talking about this game. Like, I think I would like the, um, arcade version of this. Ah! All right, well that's little, what's GDB? Oh, like your points or something? Anyway, so that's Mighty Bomb Jack. I I'll check out the arcade version of this because that's interesting. Getting so close to Squoon, I know. It's almost time for Squoon. I mean, I feel like there's gonna be a lot under R. I feel like N, O, P, that probably will go by pretty fast. Q. But I feel like R, S, T, I feel like those, those are gonna have a lot of games under them. For sure S. S is gonna like take forever. All right, next up we have Mighty Final Fight. Mighty Final Fight. You could get Bomb Jack on MSX also. I need to dive into the MSX more. But yeah, S is gonna take forever. I'm a little scared of the letter S. Yeah, we already played Legend of Zelda. We're on to letter M now. Oh yeah, this is a rare game, huh? 
A lot of MSX gets ported to Coleco since a lot of those platforms were exactly the same, like the Dick Smith Wizard. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Alright, we gotta save Jessica. Let's go save Jessica. Who should we be? Let's be... Let's be Cody. He's skilled with knives. That's always good. Ooh, look at that. I like the sprites in this. I totally forgot about this game. How did I do that spin kick? I want to know. I'm just like mashing buttons. That's what I do with these games. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, look at the cat back there. He's watching all this. Stop kicking me. Yeah, that's right, bitch. jumping enough. There we go, now we're doing some jump kicks. Movie now open. I always like looking in the backgrounds of beat-em-ups. How do I get that? Oh, did it disappear? I think it disappeared before I was able to get the floor meat. Oh, he's a big boy. I have tried ramen. I like ramen. I'm just kind of mashing buttons here, but this is cool. Mighty final fight. This gave me an idea, so I'm going to write it down. It's a secret idea. It's not a secret. It's just... I feel like maybe this could be... I was quiet, because I'm like, maybe this could be good for a Let's Play. Maybe, if it won't destroy my hands. Because I want to do more Let's Play videos. Like, I just put out... Um, Little Nemo Dream Master today, and I'm like, because, you know, I built my YouTube channel doing Let's Plays, and I miss Let's Plays because it's like a different vibe than um, streaming, and I'm like, I need to do more of those, so, and I have fun editing them. It's a beat-em-up, it'll probably destroy your hands. I know, but I'm like, maybe if I just play it for a little bit, like, if I don't let myself play it over, like, 30 minutes or 15 minutes, I don't know. We'll see. Top 10 background posters. That's not a bad idea. Maniac mashing 
Mansion DOS for Halloween, maybe. Oh, the DOS version. I've, like, never really played any DOS games. Would you consider a turbo controller for beat-em-up games? I would. Um, I feel like for some, for some beat-em-ups, it, like, wouldn't really work. I don't know. I'd have to mess with them. Aw, oh, thank you, Traxler. You should switch to turbo controller full stop. I mean, um... Yeah, but not every game is good for turbo, you know? So, but like, for shmups and stuff, I wouldn't have a problem using a turbo controller. Wait, yeah. So next up, we have Punch Out. Punch Out. Do -do -do. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Let's keep it clean. Alright, let's see. It's been a while since I played this. Let's see how I do. Let's see how I do. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous! We can do this. That's right. Boom. Punch him in the balls. I don't think you can punch him in the balls, Ryan620. That'd be funny, though, if you could, if that was, like, a secret move. They'd probably say, that goes against the rules. No ball punching. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I was trying to dodge out of the way. Oh, and then we press star, right? Yeah. I mean, start when the little star appears. Yeah. The furthest, furthest I've reached through Punch-Out, I don't remember. I was practicing it a while, like off stream with Mike, like a long time ago. I don't remember how far I made it. So I don't really have an answer for you. Today, I have no idea how far we're gonna make it. Punching into the nuts, super effective. <laughs> Yay! And then I remember if you hold select on the next screen, you get some of your health back. Right? Or is it on the in-between screens? I don't remember. Alright, let's see. This is the guy with the wiggly head. That's all I remember about him. Did I get into any fights at school? No, I was a good kid, and I was just- I was very boring. Look at this guy, he's so bouncy and wiggly, like, what's his problem? Ah, hey! Oh, I keep getting the star. Ah, and then he... Yeah! It's like when I try to use the star, he hits me. Okay. There we go. Mario has a lot of jobs, doesn't he? He's a busy guy. <gasps> Did I get knocked out?
I was a boxing teacher at the military academy. Well, that's why he's kicking my ass a little. Maybe I shouldn't use the star every time because sometimes he hits me when I'm trying to do that. I was trying to dodge. There we go. Aw, oh, damn it. No! No! Get up. Come on. You can do it, little Mac. You can do it. No, I was trying to use my star. Hey, Marcus, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I got knocked out. I need to practice this, but this could be fun. Like, if I've got how far I've gotten, I don't know. Because, like I was saying, I practiced it before and I don't remember how far I got because it was a long time ago. All right, so that's Punch Out. We all know Punch Out, but that's a good game. Next up, we have Millipede. Millipede. Ah, that was close. I don't think I've ever played the NES port of this before. Oh god, oh god, we're not doing good. We're not doing good. This is always in arcades with Miss Pac-Man. Yep. Oh shit! I thought I could get under that spider real quick. Shit! I am so bad at this. See any strange critters this year in your house or outside? I saw a frog the other night on a walk and that made me happy. I always like seeing frogs around because I love frogs. They're so cute. Other than that, I, I don't mind frogs, but some critters I'm like, I don't, I don't need to see that. Especially if it's in my, I don't, I don't need it in my house. You know what I mean? Like that would, I don't. But outside, they can exist. <laughs> but I would like a pet frog again, kind of. I miss pet frogs. Because I used to have pet frogs growing up. Now I'm too busy thinking about frogs. Instead of playing millipede. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yay! No! Okay, this is killing my hand. I'm gonna move on, but that's Millipede. Next up is Mylon's Secret Castle. What were their names? Wacko and Yakko. I wanted a third one to have Dot, but we just had, we just had the two, and they were Wacko and Yakko because I was obsessed with the Animaniacs in kindergarten. You saw a tarantula on a camping trip? That's crazy. I've luckily never seen a tarantula in real life. I've seen them at like zoos and stuff or like at the pet store, which is fine. <laughs> That's crazy zero phases. All right, so this is my long secret castle. I haven't played this game a ton. I know everyone knows it from the ABGN episode. Um, I just remember you're like, you're throwing bubbles at blocks. Right? Oh, that's how you... Okay. And you're collecting money. And then eventually you go to the store. Look at all these little critters. Speaking of critters...
How do I break? Alright, let's go over here. Are you supposed to be able to break all these? Maybe over here. Oh, it's only like some of them. Oh, we got a key. Oh shit. And then I think down here was the store. No. Do you just push it? There we go. Okay. How much money do I have? Only six dollars. I want the super shoes. All right. Well, we'll have to come back to the store. It has an awesome Japan only sequel on the Super Famicom called Doremi Fantasy. Oh, I know Doremi Fantasy. I like that platformer. I didn't know it was a sequel to this. Now thinking about it, the character looks pretty similar. That That's interesting. Did not know that. Ah! I'm trying to find more things to break. Okay, now we're getting more money. I want $16 so I can get new shoes. I don't want to exit the level yet. Or maybe you can't get enough from this level. What does the umbrella do? I have no idea what's going on. I just keep asking all these questions like, what does this do? What does that do? Oh, what's that? It looks like honeycomb or something. Okay, I guess I can't. Am I trapped? Oh. I was gonna say. I don't think I have enough money though to get anything. Maybe I should leave. Would I live in a castle? I don't want to live in a castle because they look damp and cold. I don't want to live in a castle. <laughs> All right, we don't have enough money. Do I like hats? I don't really like hats. No, I don't wear hats. Except when it's really cold, I'll wear a beanie. Those are kind of cool because if I'm having a bad hair day, I can just like put a beanie on. You would like to visit Dracula's castle? That would be interesting. How about a castle with central air? Maybe. And maybe if everything wasn't like light gray and depressing. I feel like castles just look so depressing. At least Dracula's castle has crazy traps and weird shit going on in it. At least he tries to make it entertaining. All these other castle owners, they all just look boring. And they're the same. <laughs> My dream house would be like a mid-century modern house, like the ones they have in like Palm Springs. I just love that look. I would love to live in a mid-century modern house. Alright, let's get out of here. I am over this. And then you go into the next one. I don't, oh, it's a store. What about this window? What's on this window? Would I live on a beach? That would be really nice, but I'd be, I'd be afraid of a natural disaster occurring. <laughs> I'm a worry ward. Hello, MacLeod, what's up? Can 
Can we break any of these? Why can't we break these bricks? Oh, now we have $13. Fourteen. Can I not get up here? Maybe I, I need those shoes. Anyway, I won't keep playing this forever, but that's my own secret castle. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Uh-oh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Living near the beach, you'd have to deal with sand being tracked into the house at all time. Yeah, that's true. Uh oh. My last secret castle is like another Hudson game, Mickey Mouse Capade. I don't hate it, but it's kind of jank. Yeah, that's what I was saying about Mickey Mouse Capade. It's like. I don't love it, I don't hate it. How are the NES games going? Um, there's some fun ones and there's some not so fun ones. <laughs> I didn't really like, uh, what's it called? Metal Gear, to be honest. Um, Alright, let's start. <laughs> I like Metal Storm. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to rescue Dr. O and his secretary from the Sinister Seven Underground Hideout. Alright. Look how he walks. Oh, we got captured already? I was supposed to do that? Okay. Oh. oh my god, we just got hit by a car. Oh my god. Oh, look at this guy's purple suit. Can we go to the bar? Oh, it's a spooky bar. What? I accidentally missed the text. Ah! My god, they don't give you any time to get out of the way. This really sucks. It kinda looks like Hotline Miami. <laughs> Oh, you can walk up here. I thought this was like a... Oh, was that an innocent guy? How do you know if they're good guys or bad guys? <laughs> I just keep getting captured. <laughs> like, how are you supposed to know? Can I walk over here? I mean, it's telling me to go in, so I guess I should read what he has to say. You'd be smart to go into the alley. Okay. So now we're gonna go into the alley. Oh, this is a bad guy. Ah, uh, no, I was just doing something and then I got hit by a car again. Fuck this. <laughs> uh, and next up we have Monopoly. This is actually a good way to play Monopoly because it goes pretty fast. But I'm not in the mood to play Monopoly right now. Hello, Mario 1982. How many players? I, I have to choose two, so I guess okay. Is this a human or a, it's a computer? Or wait, no. One human. Or do I select C? Oh. Yeah, C. Computer component. Mod looks cool. 
Oh. Wait, are they both computers? I'm confused. E. I want to be the dog. The dog's cute. So it just, it moves very fast and you're not waiting around. Um, yeah, I'll buy it. Aw. So Maud had to pay me money. I'll buy it. I'm buying up all the properties. You played this a lot. Oh. But yeah, look how fast it goes. It's great. It's going so fast. But anyway, so this is Monopoly. That's what it looks like. A lot of people really like it. Ooh, Monster in My Pocket. I like this game. This game isn't, like, tough, but it's just... It's just a fun side-scroller. I like it. Why isn't there an NES game of Garfield board game? What? There was a Garfield board game? I mean, of course there was. It's Garfield. There was Garfield everything. I That would be funny if there was... Like like uh video game versions of licensed board games that would be really interesting <laughs> all right monster in my pocket these are tiny little monsters running around causing trouble do you want to be a vampire or frankenstein i want to be a vampire i always like that the konami crt it's so cute You bought a Witcher themed Monopoly set? That's cool. I have a Britney Spears themed Monopoly set. <laughs> Garfield fruit snacks? I don't think I ever had those. The cards were first, then the rubber toys? Okay. I don't know much about Monster in my pocket besides the um, game. Let me know. Should I turn up the music? Is it low? It sounds kind of low. I like the skeletons in this game because I think they roll like little skulls at you. See? Isn't that cute? Can I throw it at him? Oh! The card and toy, the skeleton looks like that also. Oh, that's cool. I should look that up. Witches! I did a whole stream on this before. It's like easy to just keep playing this. Lion with a knife. Knife lions. Oh yeah, now we're in a staircase. Because we're little. this I like the detail on the stairs like it totally looks like a staircase and I think after this we go into a kitchen and it kind of reminds me of rescue rangers too 
There's so many lions. I think this was a TV show, yeah. I think there was a cartoon. I've never seen it. Oh, look at this guy. Ah, oh, shit. was easy this game is a tough it's a pretty easy game but like it's really it's really fun I really like this game yeah the properties are like uh, songs of hers and um, I'm trying to remember I've only played it once but yeah you're like getting song like popular songs of hers and then they'll be like, ooh, backstage experience or whatever. Like, it's it's really, it's silly. Like, ooh, limo. <laughs> ah. Wait, where do I go? So it's not Konami Heart? No, it's not. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking about Britney Spears Monopoly. And now, am I stuck? I might be stuck because I wasn't paying attention. Dude, that sucks that you can get stuck in this. Alright, well I guess we're moving on since I got stuck because I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, Monster in My Pocket's a really fun game. I stream the whole thing on, it's on Aaron Plays Extras if you want to see that. Next up is Monster Party. Everyone loves Monster Party. I love how it looks. I love the monsters. But the gameplay I'm not totally in love with, and it makes me feel like I'm missing something. But let's play it. You play as Mark. He's walking home from a ball game, and you just beat the shit out of monsters <laughs> with a baseball bat. So these like electric guys, I think they give out hearts. Cause you start out with not a lot of life. And then these are doors. <sighs> Trying to get the timing right. What's it? Yeah, I was like, there was a safe spot somewhere, and I think I found it. Just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> I did horrible at that. Let's try it again. I should probably get more life before I... See, like, I just get hit by everything. And it makes me feel crazy. Monster. I forgot that was a thing. Empty. <laughs> but it's much better having a projectile than just the bat. Oh shit, those are spikes, right? Are they spikes? This we'll find out. I think we just got a question mark.
what's going on in here? Sorry, I'm dead. I like that part. And then we got another question mark. I don't know what the question marks are. And yes, this is a very Halloween game. But like, I just think it's so cute. I love how everything looks. And this is terrifying. Look at that. And everything's all bloody and crazy. Oh yeah, that dog man with the human face. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Oh, I like the eyeball octopus. Speaking of Halloween, I got a new bone daddy I need to show you guys. Here, I'm gonna show you right now before I forget. I asked Twitter what I should name him and some people had some pretty good... I'm trying to show him there. See, he's like multicolored. He's so cool looking. See, he's kind of like a Lisa Frank skeleton. But I don't know what to name him. Somebody said Mr. Jangly, and I'm like, that's a good one. Um, Mike said I should name him Mitch, and I'm like, that's a good name. <laughs> but I don't know. But I just think he's cool. Oh, he can sit here. You guys can't really see him, but... So I don't know where to put him yet, but Halloween is getting started. <laughs> Rainbow Scully, Horatio. Bob. Oh, somebody said something good. I'll have to find it. It was like, um, I'll have to look. This one sadly does not sing and dance. Sadly. I wish she, I wish she did. Halloween decorations will be going up in October, yes. And I'm excited. I can put up my eyeball lights that I love so much. Sometimes I'm like, should I get different lights? But I'm like, it's my only time of year I get to have those up and I love those lights, so they're going up. It'll be their sixth year, I think, being up. <laughs> Seventh year, maybe. I got them at Target a really long time ago and I wish I got more than one. How did that hurt me? Can we go in here? Empty. I think you may like the franchise of Monster in My Pocket. There's more than 100 monsters in lore for all of them. Toys can be found on eBay. Rare colors are expensive now. That's cool. I didn't know there were more than 100 of them. That's really cute. It's very muscle. I feel like the muscle toys look weird because they just look like erasers to me. But I can't really picture the Monster in My Pocket. Uh, I assume they're like... Um, whatchamacallit, like they're more colorful and detailed, I'd imagine, than the muscle ones. No, we're dead. Anyway, so that's Monster in my pocket. Um, oh no, Monster Truck Rally. You're eating caffeinated chocolate to not miss your stream? Well, thanks for watching my stream. You can always watch this later. I'd go to sleep if you have to go to sleep. And what's caffeinated chocolate like? I, that's, I'm intrigued. Let's just go, go race. This music is awful. Oh no, look how shitty this looks. Oh my god, we went into the... Look at this. Uh-oh, we're gonna, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Look at this. And everyone's watching. You shouldn't stand that close to me. I'm dangerous behind the wheel. And there's no music, it's just... Oh, 
Oh! <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. I think we're off-roading on accident. Go up there! Damn it! Yeah, that's enough of that. Okay, next up is Motor City Patrol. Oh, and then speaking of Squishmallow bats, if you weren't here, I finally got a Squishmallow bat. It's a little keychain and he's a little devil bat. Or she. It's And she has a really cute biography. Her name's Carly. She doesn't look like a Carly though to me. But it says, got a glitch? Call Carly. There's no computer error this techie mallow can't fix and nothing makes her happier than helping her friends she grew up playing games on her big brother's desktop computer and now she's developing games of her own want to play one of carly's computer games and she's a bat that develops computer games adorable so i had to show that again <laughs> anyway so what the hell is this i forgot what we were doing financial precincts daytime patrol what You are crazy, officer. After shooting an innocent citizen, you are lucky to be sacked, not prosecuted. Get out of this station. I shot somebody? I didn't know I shot anybody. <laughs> so we gotta patrol the, the indicated buildings. You are crazy, officer. Yeah, I like the old fashioned printer paper too. No, I didn't mean to shoot. I don't know the controls. Okay, let's try it again. Don't press A, Aaron. Well, how do I get out of here? Oh my god, this is so bad. Just driving around. Oh shit. Well, how do you back up? <laughs> this is so shitty. What happens if I just keep ramming into stuff? I don't have a lot of life left. My car is like a mess. There's like trash cans that I ran into. <laughs> I'm a crazy officer. What is it gonna tell me? It didn't tell it didn't call me crazy. So I must have like I must have done this totally awesomely. Motor City Patrol. Wow. That was dog shit. Okay, next up we have Miss Pac-Man. And you know what? I'm going to take a really quick break because I need more water and then we'll be back with some more Miss Pac-Man. Well, we haven't started yet. So with some Miss Pac-Man, I should say. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for waiting on me. So, all right, here we go. Miss Pac-Man. I played Miss Pac-Man so much on um, Game Boy as a kid. I am not a Pac-Man expert, but I like Pac-Man. Ah. Come over here. Shh. 
Shit! Oh, it's Miss Pac. Bounce, 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 We didn't get the cherries, but at least we got all the nuts. This was also the first video game I ever played. At a restaurant, they had a Miss Pac-Man cocktail table. Like the cocktail cabinet, or whatever it's called. Shit, that was dumb. See, this game's great because it's like with Pac Man, even if you're like dying a lot, you still want to keep going. And it just gets very addicting. All restaurant tables should be cocktail cabinets. I agree. It'd be a lot more fun. Life would be better for everyone involved. Yeah, we started off with Mendel Palace, actually. I should probably move on. But anyway, Miss Pac-Man, it's good. <laughs> you know what's not good though? Muppet Adventures. I did a video on this a very long time ago. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be funny because it's so bad. And it's very bad. Perhaps, Hex, very possible. It is. It is 6.40 in the morning where I am. What a better way to start off your day than by playing Muppet Carnival. So let's start off with River Raid. This is like a really shitty version of Tubin. And you're collecting like those little, what do you call them? Those things you look through and I don't know why that's the item you collect, but it is. These things, like, what are those called? Oh god. Oh, I missed it. Oh! Well, we gotta try it again. Or not. Okay. I was like, did it just give up on me? Watch out for the logs. Shit. These are fun. Wee! No, I'm stuck! Get me out of there! <laughs> that was really funny. Tubin was a weird game. It is weird. But I like it. I like Tubin. Ooh, get the buoy. Well, you didn't get the buoy. Kind of sh kind of a shitty Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, kind of. I guess that's one way to put it. supposed to be Fozzie Bear? <laughs> Who was that? Nope. We gotta get- we gotta get through this. I'm on a mission. We're gonna die. 
horrible death. Sorry, Kermit. Ah! <laughs> like, how are you supposed to get that? Anyway. Here, we'll play another one of the games on here. He looks happy enough. <laughs> Have I played Beavis and Butthead's Virtual Stupidity? I've played, I've messed around with one of the games, I think on Super Nintendo. I don't know which one though. Isn't there more than one on Super Nintendo? All right, Car Course, I remember being horrible. Let's play it. So now we're Animal. Oh my God. I hate, I hate this game so much. <laughs> Get the flag! Get it! So this sucks, right? Yeah, the Muppets do deserve better. I'm sorry. It's 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 horrible. All the games are really bad. <laughs> Mutant Virus. This game is fucking weird. If I remember incorrectly, you're like here. Let's see if I am I remembering correctly. Look at that logo. It's like almost awesome, but it just looks really messy and horrible. So we're shrinking down. And we're just this little jetpack man. And we're trying to destroy the virus. And I think the virus is the purple, but you're also trying to destroy the little um, black virus looking thing. But you're also trying to just hit anything that's purple. What's happening? Did I do it that fast? And now I get to try to get out of here. <laughs> you know this game, Link to the Shaft. <laughs> and there he goes, floating to the next area. And there's even a map at the bottom if you if you need a map to get through this. This made perfect sense. Oh my god. This is making me think about how I want more coffee. And that emote that you use makes me want coffee. Oh my god. Wait, did we do it again? Am I awesome at getting rid of viruses? Okay, so I guess we could go this way. This is crazy. There's too many of them. It's taking over. See, now I'm like, do I even have to worry about the blue parts? Do I only have to worry about the um, purple parts? I think I only have to worry about the purple parts. But that would make it too easy, right? Like, what? Okay. 
so okay actually so that purple the virus isn't moving so maybe i do just need to get rid of this Alright, I can't play any more of this. This is making me question a lot of my choices. And lastly, we have mystery quests. Oh, I need to see what the unlicensed ones are. Don't let me forget. Any costume ideas for this year? I don't know yet. I need to start looking because I don't have any ideas really yet. Questioning life choices hype. Oh, the skin. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're the little elf. And there's more killer lobsters. What were the other killer lobsters? I forget what game we were playing. There's been a lot of killer lobsters tonight. What is Mystery Quest about? I have no idea, but it looks like we're a little Christmas elf. And we're just running through the forest. Trying not to get hit by a lobster. Because they fly out of bushes. Oh my god, bats. Oh, you can jump on them? Doesn't this look so half-assed? It looks half-assed to me. It looks like they just placed enemies in random places. Oh, did we get a hat? <gasps> Look at the little elf man down there. Yay. This looks like Pac-Land mixed with some of early Ags Kick games. Yeah, kind of. That's a good way to put it. What if you dressed up as Elmo? I don't want to dress up as Elmo, no. You kind of love the look of this. I mean, I've played worse. It's just, there's not much to it. It's just kind of a nothing game, you know? It's weird. And there's like skulls under there for some reason. No vitality. Game over, what does that mean? Was I getting hit by stuff and I didn't even realize it? <laughs> Alright, so that's Mystery Quest, but let's see if there's unlicensed games. Oh, there's a few. Oh no. <sighs> remember the Elmo Balloon? I do remember the Elmo Balloon. Okay, Master Chew and the Drunken Who. I'm trying to get the controls. Okay, so up is jump, of course. Because why would it not be? Oh my god, I can't play this. This is making me very upset. <laughs> this is what Australia looks like. <laughs> That's funny. Is that a little man walking down there? Is that a gingerbread man? Like, what am I looking at? I can't. I can't with this. All right, the next up, Maxi 15. Oh, no. Is this like a 15 and 1? Maxivision? If you like this cartridge and would like one for your own, dial this number and what? The hell is this? Hulk Hogan, wait, what? A special thanks to Hulk Hogan. Oh my god, is this like another Action 52? 
Wait, I want to see who else they think. Hold on. This is Maxivision. Ask for a Maxivision multi game cartridge, volume one. I need to write this down. Where's my notebook? Hulk Hogan, Steve Weber. All right, let's try. What should we try? Crazy Creatures is on here. I love Crazy Creatures. Is this the same Crazy Creature? It is the same crazy creatures. <gasps> Dude. This needs to be its own stream. Well, we might have to make its own stream out of this. Okay, how do I get to a different game? Because I already played Crazy Creatures recently. Maxi 15, what the fuck? Alright, uh, puzzle, pyramid. Oh, they give descriptions. Dudes with attitude, Venice volleyball. Chillers on here. Menace Beach is on here. Rad Racket Tennis. Alright, let's see what F-15 City War is. This is weird. Uh, not really Hex. So this has like some real games on it. Some real unlicensed games. So were all these games just released standalone? I wonder. Because Menace Beach, Chiller... Oh, Pyramid is its own thing? Okay. This is so weird. How do... I... I'm not doing anything. How do I play? Does it just play the game for me? Okay. <laughs> oh, we played this on stream! Well, we were in the F section. Okay, so this is like, this is an actual, like, comp compilation of standalone games. Because, let me see, hold on. Okay, it was made by American Video Entertainment. And they're the ones that did, like, Crazy Creatures and all that stuff. It was released in North America and Australia. What the fuck? Two versions of this multi-cart were released, with the latter using a different title screen. Replacing Sachin's, Sachin's games with two others. Oh, I guess Death Race was on there. Is Death Race on this? I don't think Death Race is on the, this. All right, well that's interesting. So we just discovered the new Action 52, except this is better. <laughs> Nothing but bangers. All right, well that's cool. And then speaking of uh, what was on there, Menace Beach, which was on the Maxi 15. <laughs> and now it's Menace Beach. Color dreams, good old color dreams. Sorry babe, it looks like our little date at the mall Malt shop is postponed. It seems I'm all tied up at the moment. Please help me out. Or you'll see my bad side. She's like threatening, but she's like captured. It's so bizarre. I, man, I haven't seen this game in a long time. It 
It looks like bottles of ketchup, but they're like bombs. How do I fight this guy? Okay, there we go. I guess like that. Oh, get the banana. Or is that like you're gonna slide on the banana? This is so floaty. This is like impossible to control. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Oh, clown. I'm like sitting too close to the screen. This is like messing with my eyeballs. Yeah, this is also Sunday fun day. That's right. Because color dreams turned into wisdom tree. It's like I don't even know how I'm fighting. This is skate and die, yeah. So skate or die. This is skate and die. Yeah. Look at those frantic thumbs up. He's like shaking. He's convulsing. He's so happy. Oh yeah, and then her clothes start slowly coming off. It's so weird. Oh god. I remember this part. With the Elvis and the frogs. And the switches. No, I want to turn the switch back on. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Oh, don't need stupid Elvis turned it off. Okay, anyway, so that's Menace Beach. <laughs> Mermaid of the Atlantis, the riddle of the magic bubble. What the hell is this gonna be? Oh, wait, is this inappropriate? I need to look this up. Because I don't want to accidentally have... Oh, yeah, we can't play this. <laughs> Her clothes come off. And he can't be showing 8-bit boobies. Because then I'll get in trouble. And we don't want that. Good thing I caught that. I was like, wait, this looks like bubble bath babes. But I think her clothes also come off. So I'm like, let's just be safe and skip that one. All right, next up is Metal Fighter. Another color dreams gem. Oh my god. Metal Fighter! Wow, this is... This is dog shit. No! So it just sends you to the beginning if you get hit. <laughs> this sucks. All right. Well, that's a Color Dreams I didn't know. A Color Dreams game I didn't know of. So that that was a little interesting. <laughs> um, next up, we have Micro Machines. Micro Machines. Micro Machines. M Games rated M for mature. <laughs> Walter, <laughs> Spider, oh, 
Oh my god, look at Joel. He looks messed up. Let's be Joel. Qualifying race. Oh, we're in the bathtub. This is so funny. Oh, rubber ducky. Oh, I'm first? Wow. Good job, Joel. He looks terrified. Let's be Walter. He looks like a nice lad. I had a lot of Polly Pockets. I loved Polly Pockets. Oh, we have to pick other people. Let's do Spider. Cherry's cute. Alright. Oh my god, Cheerios! Oh my god, it's breakfast! It's breakfast themed! This is so cute! I'm not staying in the line at all. I'm running over the Cheerios and the egg yolks or whatever that is. Oh my god, we ran off the table. We ran off the table. Alright. Oh my god, oh my god, no, no, no. It's hard to stay in the lines. bad. I'm horrible at these types of games, like steering, but this is cute. I like it. Yay, first. Yeah, my Aladdin deck enhancer blew up. It was quite scary. All right. Oh, now we're on a desk. Oh my god. Oh. We went. Pfft. Thank you so much, Shishi, for subscribing for 41 whole months. Thanks so much. There we go. We went over the tables. Oh my god. No, we fell off the table again. No! I can't do this this course. No! Oh. No! Okay, I give up on that one. But anyway, so Micro Machines, that was cute. That was fun. MIG-29 Soviet fighter. Oh, another Code Masters. Is the course making you dizzy? <laughs> More Code Masters? Well, you're getting it. Oh god, not one of these. Oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? I don't understand what I'm supposed to be pressing. Maybe you're not supposed to be shooting anything, you're supposed to be dodging. I think it's automatically shooting. But then I get destroyed.
There we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere in this awesome Codemasters game, which name I already forgot. <laughs> All right. Well, so this is what that is. The next up we have Mission Cobra. Is this gonna be another Codemasters game? No, this is from Sachin. Okay. Mission Cobra. Oh, I'm not ready. I wanted water. I'm only doing North American games. So Mr. Gimmick, I don't think had a North American release. But since everyone's talking about Gimmick in the chat, we can play it last. Even though it's going against what I'm doing. Because if I was to play all the European, like the Pell stuff and the Japan stuff, like, we would be here forever. I'm already, this challenge is taking a really long time. I don't really like Mr. Gimmick either. Oh, it did have a, it had a prototype release? Okay. But yeah, there are a lot of great Famicom games. It's just, I'm not doing that for this challenge. Well, this game sucks. So we're just shooting stuff like crazy. So with Mr. Gimmick, does anybody like legit like that game or do you guys just like it because it's rare? You know what I mean? Like I feel like some games are solely talked about just because they're rare. But like does anybody actually really like Mr. Gimmick? E-Tank does, right? Euphoria? Euphoria I really like. I like that game a lot. You think Gimmick's well made? Okay. You legit love it. It's your favorite game on the NES tied with Castlevania 3. Oh, okay. Well I was just wondering if people like legit really liked it or not. So that's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna move on from this. We get it. Moon Ranger, is this like Moon Patrol? Probably not. Bunch Games. <laughs> I never heard of Bunch Games. And thus begins our story. Intelligent reports that the Earth may be the next target for destruction. Well, let's play it. Oh god, this one. I think I've played this before. Or no, I was thinking of something else. It kind of looks like the guy from Rad Gravity also, doesn't it? Oh. Aliens! I want to save the alien. Look at the little aliens flying around. Oh, you catch them for points. Oh, no, they hurt you. I thought we got points for getting one. The fuck? And you shoot so slow. I don't want to shoot the aliens. Oh my god, this game's horrible. <laughs> And Miss Pac-Man again, the unlicensed version. Let's see what it looks like. The, oh, this is a Tengen version. I see. That's right. There was two different ones. The creator of Kirby loves gimmick too. That's cool. <laughs> so it does look slightly different. I 
I feel like I'm going crazy. You're a crazy policeman. I am, apparently. No! Anyway, okay, we just had to see that. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been fun, and I'll be back again very soon, and we will move on through the alphabet on our NES alphabetical journey. <laughs> Have a good day. See you next time. Bye. Do, 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 do.